So we're gonna do difficult mode, which I guess doesn't entirely match the title, but whatever. Also, we're gonna change the title to 35% gross because oh, FE8, FE8's a lot easier. Like you just you get more tools. Jacob stones. Difficult mode. Yeah, okay, that works. I I'm kind of surprised Miss got doubled. Okay, so difficult mode, and we will start. Okay, real talk, I have no benefit to, like, looking over fe 8 story. It's whatever. I don't particularly like it, but I have no... I have no desire to criticize it. It's just, it's here. Whatever. Also, hey, Scruffy, hey, Death Star, and hey, Red Shadow King. Okay, Rene Castle. For some reason, he sticks around. For some reason, like, Seth doesn't shit stomp falter. Whatever. Oh, she had an iron blade. Okay, that explains it. Eh. Also, let me know if uh, the emulator audio needs to be bumped up. Uh, let's, let's bump it up to like... fe 8 story never did it for me. fe 8 in general doesn't do a lot for me. Okay, so Erica, normal Erica, Rapier, Seth, uh, normal Seth, minus Seth. Okay, these guys are manageable. Oh, hey, uh, Variablex5, thank you for the sub. Enjoy your stay in the Super Barracks. Okay, so... I would get shit stomped by you. I don't want to just make this the Sacred Seth, because I'm pretty sure I still could. But that's not really fun, so... Alright, so... Do you... Do oh, actually... That's why it feels so slow. Okay, uh, two, fast, max. Good. Okay. You know, I could do like, what is it? Draft race rules where Seth is banned after chapter like four or something. Ugh. You know what, Erica, you just, just stick here. If you crit and die, you crit and die. That's just how this run's gonna go. I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. No. I was kidding. Am I really gonna lose Erica on the first enemy? Okay. All right. <sighs> okay, we're still living. Jesus Christ. You know what? Actually, this is good. I can give Erica some XP and then hide behind Seth. Uh, pre-promotes are busted. They just gave everyone, like, really good bases, better gross than they have any right having, and the enemies suck pretty hard in this game. So, item, uh, what do you do? 11 defense, 14, 13, okay, yeah. So Seth is still gonna, like, shit-stomp everything. Manx percent speedrun. <laughs> I wasn't quick enough on the options to make it a good Manx percent. Also, Block Shifter, thank you for the follow. Enjoy your stay in my barracks. And the rest of you, I know a lot of you were like following when I was starting up. I I appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoy your stay around here. God, I forget that Seth just completely invalidates like the first boss. I would have thought that, hey, maybe he wouldn't double at least. <sighs> you know, Pete, I'm just, I'm good at video games. FE8's a hard game, but I was able to make it past the prologue with zero resets. Okay. I won't give in to Sorrow. I don't... I don't really find Erica all that interesting. Okay, current chapter, chapter one. Escape! Okay. Uh, hey look, it's like that one meme from 2008. And... Regget. Or Baguette. I was hate how you... I hate how Erica doesn't spawn like one tile up. Actually, I guess you need to. Yeah, one tile up would get her in the forest, right? Okay. Uh, I don't want to take the soldier though. So. I have to like. I have to train myself to not visit houses. I'm used to playing ROM hacks where visiting houses will give you a little amount of XP, but. This is not one of those hacks. This 
Fort Cario or whatever? Okay. Um... I, I know... Okay, so... Oh, is the font? Yeah, that's, uh, Cairo Standard. Uh, it's what Ocarina of Time 3D uses, as well as Awakening. And, uh, I guess I'm showing my age here. This stream layout was made, like, forever ago, when I think Awakening was the most recent Fire Emblem game. So... Uh, I can just do that. Yeah, so Franz is, like, literally as good as Seth. 16. Just cute. Honestly, I'll just do that and trade him an iron sword. I'm, I'm surprised you were able to, like, pick it out, considering it's so small. Yeah, uh, Chayo Standard. Most of the Nintendo fonts are abbreviated, like, FOT something STD. I'm gonna see how far I can get without using Seth, because I don't want to use him to invalidate the game. Alright, Eric is first level, let's see. Level 2! Bad Lord! In the trash can! With you! Hello, Thunder Goddess. Why did- why did I do that? Why did I- did I kill Franz? I didn't kill Franz. I'm good at video games, right? Right? Oh fuck. Okay, still good at video games. Or strength the entire game. I mean, maybe. I just, I don't like using Erica. I feel... Like, I realize that she's not the worst lord in the world, but, like, eh, doesn't do it for me. Oh, right, I don't care about the story. Yeah, but that's personal bias. I just, I don't really care about Erica's plight. I think it's kind of hammy, and not in, like, the good way, like, FE1, it's just, like, I always compare these sorts of things to, like, being a bad version of FE1. And I don't think it's entirely unwarranted here. Anyway, ow. To Gilliam. Gilliam's a good unit. Gilliam does not kill these fighters. Softens them up for Franz. I know some people have an F-frame, like, hate boner. Next year, you're fine. I think the game, it kind of falls into, like, the Alm paradigm of, the game wants you to think that, like, he's being overconfident, and, like, that overconfidence and cockiness will be his, like, undoing, but they also never really punish him for it, like, at all, ever. I think he's more interesting than, like, Alm... Or Eric. I think he's more interesting than Erica, but I just think Eric is a bland character that doesn't jive well with how FE8 presents its story. Okay. Now the good unit levels. HP, skill, speed, luck. You got speed, so good level up. Erica did not get speed. Bad Okay, can you, like, no. Yeah, but, like, being OP without... Like, he can be, like, a god in battle, but... And he's got to have some drawbacks. Mm. Just, I'll just pop you in here. Okay, time to kill baguettes. Hey, man's. I have no idea, like, what the. I, that probably means something, but I don't think this game ever talks about Erica's bus size. Actually, no! You know what? This game does! Uh, this game actually talks about it in the Erica, like, F-frame support, for some reason. It's like, sure! I guess that's what siblings do. Okay, yeah, Franz, you're... You're fine. 
France is fine. Ah. And I think that's D swords. Yeah, Amen's is right. It's either a support or like a flash bag. Sweet home Renee, indeed. I understand that the way that the randomizer works, because all of these units are super low level, like the hard mode bonuses are probably not going to start becoming apparent until late game, or at least mid game. And at that point, like, you have a pallet in France, and it's sacred stones. So you're just going to kill everything. Okay, well, Erica, you tried. Uh, you got a good hit in. No, I will not. Not use Seth. I mean, I won't abuse Seth. I'll probably end up using him for the spider chapter, because that chapter sucks. I guess it depends on how my team levels. Are you using Dustle to appease Ghast? I have no reason to need to appease Ghast. Ghast is pretty chill with me to my knowledge. I don't need to appease him. Okay, I could have done without that. Okay, level number two for friends. Level three. Speed. Speed. Still a good unit. I guess. I'll take strength and defense too, though. You know. I'm curious. Does friends do like anything? They really just want you to use Erica, huh? Good God. I can't even use a goddamn vulnerary. Okay, you know what? Seth is getting this kill just because I don't want to have to wait. This can't be Bacana. And this is the problem of having night bosses on forts or castles or gates, whatever they're called, early game. Princess Tana. Great. I, I don't care about the story. Hey, Ham Daddy. That's a name. Uh, not, not my particular cup of tea, but hey. Thanks for the follow. Enjoy your stay in my barracks. Border castle. I like this guy's sprite. I'm gonna be real. I don't remember how, like, FE1 and 3 do attack speed. I have played them each one time, and it is nowhere recent. Great. The protected. Okay, manage items. Okay, I, one thing I do like about Sacred Stone is that I wish FE7 did. You get access to preparations and managing your items so much fucking sooner. Actually, I think you can use a steel sword. You're not gonna do shit with it, but you know, don't burn through your rapier and all that. Okay, this is Vanessa. So, Vanessa and Franz are... I know Seth is touted as the god of this game, and he rightfully is, but like, Vanessa and Franz are about as close to his level as you can get. Like, they snowball so hard. Okay, in FE1, it is speed minus weight equals attack speed. Oh, so you just need higher attack speed to double. Hmm... Mm, I don't. It's hard to say, having not played it super recently, because that would probably depend on the enemy stat makeup. Uh, Iron Lance, Slim Lance. Ah, uh, yes, the bad mechanic. I'm glad that Pegasus Knights, the fast class, can only use Slim Lances if they want to, like, not be encumbered to hell and back. Okay, anyway, blah, 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 blah. Hey, look, it is the only good training unit in the history of ever. What the fuck? I don't remember that.
Oh, shit. Oh, whatever. Oh, they're from the randomizer? Okay. Hey, Ross, are you gonna get yourself killed like a dumbass? Good. I'd say right below, like, Franz and Vanessa tier, you have Garcia tier. Okay, get the, get the fuck off my village. And stop taking Mulder's XP. Are we using Garcia? I don't... Real talk, like, Sacred Stones is pretty easy, so... Within, like, the first ten chapters, if there's a unit you really want me to use, just tell me. Like, I don't... I have no strong feelings about Sacred Stones. If you want a unit... Oh, fuck it, I'll use it. Wait... Garcia just has really good bases, and his growths aren't awful. Like, Ross has better offensive growths, but, like, Garcia's bulkier. And because axes are so strong in this game, like, they can actually do something. Okay. Talk to Daddy. Yeah, his speed growth is what hurts him, but... He's a really good candidate for the speed wing, or I want to say the hero promotions, what gives like a good chunk of speed in this game. The most wonderful man rescued me. Good for you. Live your best life, chick. And we're gonna visit you. And I really like your portrait. I, I love how FE8 has like more forward-facing portraits than the rest of the, well, the other two GBA games. I mean, I guess you can see it in both... Garcia and Selena here. And let's go ahead. And... To the front lines! Oh shit, I have to, like. Oh good, you go for me instead of the village. Okay, so, for anyone who's unfamiliar, this is Ross, he's a journeyman. Uh, FE8, like, I'll, I'll touch on this because I realize not everyone's played FE8. Ross is a journeyman, so normally you have tier 1 classes like mercenary, fighter, cavalier, and tier 2 classes warrior, hero, paladin. This game has tier zero classes, or training classes. So, Ross the Journeyman. Also, these jeans, thank you for the follow. Enjoy your stay in my barracks. He's essentially like a trainee fighter pirate. And then he can become a berserker, a warrior, or a hero. Now, berserker Ross is just is fun. Like, you don't really get a lot of berserkers that you can train up from nothing in Fire Emblem. It's like... I guess it's really just dark. So a lot of people make him a Berserker because he has really good offensive, like, gross, and Berserker has the highest offensive caps. But unlike most, like, growth units that ha start with shit bases, like, Ross is actually pretty usable. Now granted, he almost gets one shot here. I realize it's kind of counter to what I'm saying, but... Oh shit, okay. Ow. Uh, if I put Erica here, can she... Okay. We can deal with that. Because he comes with a hatchet, a weapon, a, like a one-two range weapon that's light enough for him to get kills on. Like, it's honestly not an entire pain in the ass to trade him. Like, the FE8's early game is easy enough to where you can train him without it being too much of a handicap. But you do sacrifice kills on other units, so... Alright, Daros, he, he has become Sale. Okay, so we'll, we'll try and get the kill with Ross here. I have a high offensive cap. That is a very offensive hat. I, I would not suggest wearing it out. Druzies, welcome to the barracks. Enjoy your stay. Or don't! I'm not your mom. Yeah, you and an Amelia, like... To be fair, they are not, like terrible units in their own right. It's just that there's no real reason to use them, and it's like they come way too late to really do anything useful. 15, 16, 7, 10. Fine. And, um... I'm not, what, I'm not using Amelia? No, uh. 
Like, I think Amelia is an interesting case of, like, the super speedy paladin, but she suffers from kind of shitty con. Uh, and I, why, I say kind of shitty, really shitty con, and, oh, God. Bad bases and gross that are not so above the curve to justify her use. Really is not... She's not great. I will say, I think she's probably... E maybe easier to use than Ewan? It's been a while since I've used Ewan. But I know he comes later when the game actually remembers that it has to be kind of difficult. So... I don't know. But the fact is, she doesn't come with, like, a trainee spear or something. She has to use a javelin if she wants to attack safely, and that will tank her only viable stat speed. Okay, Iron Axe, 11. Oh, you starts at level 1? Jesus. Thoughts on the FE8 randomizer? Uh, it, it works. I'm not sure what thoughts I'd have beyond that. It's very workable, and it makes FE8 a lot more fun to play on subsequent playthroughs, so... Like, I would have done a randomizer, but it has been a hot minute since I've played FE8. Or really, I know the GBA games, which is part of the reason I'm doing this. Level 3! Oh my god, ooh, strength, skill, speed, luck! Uh, we take those, damn. Okay. Who needs healing? Really, I need healing. Ooh, wow, you don't double. Is this a kill for Ross? Uh, do you do 8 damage? 9. Okay. Erica, best lord. Okay, this is a really stu this is kind of gonna sound stupid because it is. Oh shit, are you gonna? Okay, you're not going to. Part of the reason I don't like using Erica is I really don't like rapier animations. I feel like they don't have weight. I don't think they're like pleasant to look at. Okay, Ross level one. H God, God damn it, Ross! You get one more of these before you're hitting the bench. I think Ephraim Root is harder, right? So if you've ever seen the beta rapier, uh, the beta Erica animation, I know it's not how you would use a rapier, it's not a thrusting motion, but I actually much prefer the beta animation. Partially because it spins, and I think spinning's cool. Spinning's a neat trick. See if I can... Uh, dark. Oh, okay. Erica's really mad that I'm yelling at her animations. I'm sorry, but... It's just... I have opinions. Uh, let me find the... Unique... Lord. Erica Beta. There we go. Image as... Desktop... Sword.gif. Okay, and... Like I can just- I can bring it up real quick. I- I think it's just worse Elwood. Okay, I think this works, right? Yeah, I'm gonna make this a lot larger. So this is Beta Erica. And I like her color scheme a lot more too, but... I think her attacking animations are a lot better. I know it's not how you'd use a rapier, but like, I don't know, I like it. Maybe I just like the sprite itself a little more. The movement's a little choppier, I, obviously they didn't refine this to the extent they did normal Erica. But I like the standing sprite a lot more, I think she looks cooler. Anyway, back to the actual game that we're playing. Oh my god, it is just unmounted Cheetah, huh? I mean, remember that it is a beta animation, it's not something that they, like, complete- oh shit. Uh, Franz needs healing badly. Hey, what, what do you take? Eight, eight, uh, sixteen. So, if I just kill you, ah, yes, I forgot all women with blue hair are just Sheeta. Uh, that was probably. 
the same as. Okay, so I don't remember a lot about this game. So, uh, maybe an iron axe and iron sword, iron lance. That's probably fine. How badly do you get shit stomps? 10 and 10? Uh, uh, okay, so I, I probably do have to kill you. Yeah. Oh, the UI, the UI of this game is much improved. I mean, granted, most of like the basic UI, it's not much different. I think it's menu theming's a little stronger than like the other two GBA games. I don't think the dragon aesthetic really Oh shit. Are you gonna Hmm. I could bait you with Erica. But like I think FE8's UI shines in ROM hacks where like they improve the usability of it. I think I talked about this in the FE7 playthrough, but uh, there are- most FE8 hacks use a modified UI where you can see a lot more information without having to press R. Like, if I were to press select here on, like, modified FE8, you'd be able to see growths. On um, where HP and the HP bar is, you'd be able to see, like, numerical stats of, like, strength, speed, defense, resistance. As well as the weapons he has equipped. And outside of, like, 3DS Fire Emblem, I think the game needs to be a lot more mindful of Presenting more information in less space. Yeah, so Sacred Stones, the reason Sacred Stones color palette is a lot more pleasant than FE7 or FE6 is because, reach over here. Wait a minute, who are you? Ow. This game came out after the GBA SP was like, act it was in development, after the GBA SP was a thing. So before, before FE8, like Fire Emblem games had to be designed around being viewable on a dimly lit screen. Which is why if you play FE7 or FE6 on like, or really any pre like 2004-ish game, on like the GBA player, it's gonna look super saturated, almost sickeningly, sickeningly so. Yeah, if you ever wonder, that's, that's why. Uh, spaghetti code is like a programmer term. It means that the code's like not very well put together. It's not very well organized. So if someone's viewing it after the fact, they're not gonna have a good idea where stuff is. Oh, hey, you know what? Vanessa, you get the kill if you hit. Speaking of non spaghetti code. Okay, that's a good chunk of XP for Vanessa. Know what I can do? Yeah. Echoes coding? I mean, I still have my GBA SP with FE7 on my bedside table. Like, this thing is a goddamn tank. They don't. Shoot, I don't have a monster to like sip like a boomer, but they don't make them like they used to. That thing has survived being dropped out of a moving vehicle at like 40 miles an hour. Hardest FE game to hack? I don't know. Like, my gut would tell me three houses, but they've already made decent headway into switch hacking, so I'm not sure that's entirely accurate. Okay, yeah, you know, you can just keep attacking Seth. Ah! I see you have chosen death. Oh, okay. All right, friends isn't doubling. Okay, question is, who gets the kill? Yeah, the Game Boy, the original Game Boy is what survived the bombings. I think it was the fire bombs. Okay, you know what, Vanessa? If you get the kill, you get the kill. I mean, that's just that's the price you pay for having to fit a lot of power into a small space. Like, you don't have a lot of that reinforced armor. Uh, yeah, we'll give it to Vanessa. Having a flyer is probably a little more useful than having a Ross. Alright, are you gonna make me proud, green-haired unit? 
You are HP, Strength, Luck, and Resistance. You saved my son. I owe you my thanks. Ross, Garcia's son. Yay! Chapter 3. God, I... These are going so quickly, I'm forgetting to update the chapter because I don't really care. Okay, uh, manage item. Oh, right. You can enter the armory from the world map here, so there's literally no reason to... Do you have different offerings if you enter the armory from, like, the actual thing? Anyway. Boruto's dad's son. Iron sword. Uh, get that. Nessa, that, and... Ross, the iron axe. Yeah, my Switch, I put a protective, like, screen, I put a screen protector on it, and it still has, like, there's just a, t a thin hairline crack down the screen protector. I never dropped it. I, like, it's always in its stand. The dock is just so poorly designed that, like, it'll end up scratching the screen or, like, cracking any protectors. It's, su it's such shitty design. Which is strange, given that, like, Nintendo's been generally pretty okay about design. Well, hardware design. Except for the Wii U. Okay. Great. Boruto Ridge. Erica and our company pursue the date. Wait a sec. This is just this is just the side quest from Lin Mode. This is just the first Black Fang Ninian chapter. Bullshit. Unoriginal. Zero out of ten. You should feel bad. I mean, the Joy-Cons are just a failure in design in and of themselves. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at some of, like... So, eight strength. Eight and nine strength. That's... I think we're getting, like, one point above the curve where we would be. Okay, here's N Naomi. I like... I like Naomi just because I really like the Ranger animation. And as a note, I fucking hate nomads. Like, FE6 and FE7 nomads are big dumb and I don't like using them. I like rangers in this game. It's purely aesthetic. Oh god, she kind of is the prototypical bird. Well, she just cries a lot. She's not a shut-in. Six... Uh, six damage... Twelve damage... Alright, so... Okay, so... Do we want... To... Look, I know nomads are kinda good. I just really hate the animation. Like, that's all it is. I just don't like the animation. I think the animation's whack and... Uh, I, don't, I just don't fucking like it. I think they have silly hats in FE6. And not like, fun, haha, -ha, good silly, just like, wow, this is really dumb, silly. Damn, Garcia's a thick boy. One thick bit. Uh, so I used the Yune randomizer, and chat's telling me that because the ROM was altered via the randomizer, Ross gets the training seal. I don't know if that means that like. Oh wait, actually. Oh wait, this gets you to super trainees, right? I, it's been a hot minute since I played this game. I'm sorry. Uh, attack of hatchet, six and seven. Okay, Naomi, she has like no strength at all, but at the same time, I kind of want to use her. Okay, so it's for someone randomized. Gotcha. Alright, kill for Naomi. That was a lot of work. That was a lot of work for just one kill. Dorky!
Okay, uh... Wait, do you have a... Okay, you just have a chest key. Uh, 13. We'll keep Erica back to do this. I'm not a huge fan of this chapter. It's just super cramped at the start. Uh, did I put Nemi in the right spot? I did. Cool. Here's Colm. He's kind of a dick, but I like his sprite. Here's Colm! I, I, I have to use- well, actually... I don't think there are a lot of good stealables in this game. So maybe I could just, like, fucking not use him. Like, the rogue animation kicks a bunch of ass, but, hmm, just don't want to, just don't want to use it. Right? Uh, do you have, like, you don't. Um, I probably won't use Gilliam. He's a pretty good unit, but I just... <sighs> Armorous man. I don't even like him in Heroes. Do you have a hand axe? You don't. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, Ryan David Gilbert, I, Brian, Brian David Gilbert, Gilliam, Brian David. I don't know. Uh, it was funny. You have to take it as comedy, not oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, I, <laughs> I had to steal some. T oh Jesus. Okay. I was kind of afraid I was gonna get doubled there. Yes. Brian David Gilliam. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna use an iron sword, or use a boulder and stay here. I don't, it's a bad mechanic! I think three houses almost gets it right, but doesn't because it's three houses. Just have it be offset by strength and weapon ranks and I'll make the strength offset by a factor of, like, 0.5 or something. It depends on the caps, but... For a GBA game, like, 0.5 or something would probably work. Look, every time... Every time, like, a tiny sword lady does not double, you're getting the comment. I don't make the rules, it's just... It, it be like that. Oh, shit, okay. Uh... Hmm. Hey, Ross level, level three, strength, resistance, okay, you still have three speed, maybe fix that, but... Um, I don't think I can, okay, I could kill you. Yeah, his one resistance. That'll keep him from getting shit on by moguls. I have a hand axe. I don't really want to deal with that. I think I can rescue you with Vanessa, right? Boom. Problem solved. If you don't like Constitution, you don't like America. Well, my country just like threw itself headfirst into a potential World War III, so I gotta say, that's not entirely dissonant for me right now. Which units am I planning on using? Make suggestions! 
If it's not too stupid, I'll probably see it through. Okay, General Amelia is like, probably as stupid as you can go. Like, I, ap I appreciate the zero IQ plays. Really, I do, but... Yeah, I, like, kind of want to enjoy myself. Oh, shit. Um... This would have actually been a good spot for Garcia. Okay. So... You have four speed. You have... How the fuck do you have eight con? You're like ten years old. I can't. So I wouldn't get doubled. Yeah, it was just kind of a... I mean, this is not like political just chatting, but like... Probably not the way you want to start out 2020 or... Oh shit, we're in 2020. I don't like that. Okay, that's actually worthwhile. Politics do suck. And unfortunately, in current year, it is... Oh shit, Sea's Throne. Uh, we're gonna have to send Seth back to, like, pick up Erica. Well, you see, politics aren't good. That's why there's no politics, too. Uh, yeah. I open the door first of Colm, so I can, like, start making headway. And Colm has nothing else to do in the chapter, so he can spend the next two turns going back and picking the chests he missed. Oh, you cock! You cock! And I can't even steal from you! Fuck! Oh, eat a dick. Blink my elixir. Okay. That was not very cash money of you at all. Alright, well, uh, no elixir. Uh, village girl's sacrifice has gone to waste. Also, I think you have a hand back, so I can start doing damage. Okay, well, you know what? We got Vanessa a kill. At the cost of a full heal. Alright. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a problem. That is a big old fucking problem. I guess I could just kill you, but like, that's XP. That could be going to someone I care about, and not Seth. Yeah, actually, I have, I have no way to stop this, so. We'll go ahead and just stab this arch in the face. I mean, that is what your Jagan should be used for. In, like, a well-designed Fire Emblem game, I feel like the Jagan's there to, like, first couple chapter crutch and to bail you out when you make a dumb move. God, maddening XP gains suck. Anyone want healing? Mercy's here. Does anyone, like, need healing? No? Oh, right. Iron Sword. Great. I mean, you are the Jagan. Well, actually, I guess it's more accurate to say that you're like the... Honestly, you're the Seth. Like, it's not even an Oifei thing. You're just like way better than everyone else. Uh... 
To be fair, I don't think Maddening is super well designed. Like, it's better than Awakening Lunatic, but that's like a very low fucking bar. Yeah, they could have made Jarrell the playable unit. See, I disagree. I think Lunatic Reverse and FE7 goes so far in the direction of bullshit stupid that it becomes fun. It's like it's like playing an official rage fest. HP, strength, skill, speed. Ah, oh, that's the friends I know and love. <sighs> there are some mechanical things I just I'm not a huge fan of with three houses. Oh shit! So I'd have to I'd attack from below. That'd do. Like I like gambits as an a, a way to do AOE damage. I do not like that all gamic gambits like. Halt your movement. Okay. HP is, uh, strength, speed, luck, defense? I just, Something like that. Good level. Also, Vanessa has, like, pretty good defensive gross. For a Pegasus Knight. Like, they're not- they're, they're, they're bad. They're bad, but she's a Pegasus Knight, so, like, we take those. Siege Town should not be able to crit. Kind of baffles me. And someone thought that that was an okay thing. They're like ambush spawns. They're never, ever, ever, ever. Now, well, okay, they're usually not a good mechanic. Like I can count on my hand, on one hand, the amount of times that like ambush spawns were used well. Oh shit, uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, this is the case where, like, Garcia's great base bulk. Actually, Jesus Christ. At base, he has l Vanessa levels defense, but, I mean, she's a fighter, so I guess. But his 28 HP puts in work. Like, the only, in my opinion, Ambush Spawns have been used well exactly one time. And that was the Prison Break chapter in Path of Radiance. Because the entire conceit of that chapter is, if you get caught, they will, like, you will be swarmed by reinforcement. That's, that is established at the beginning of the chapter. I, yeah, I'm gonna soften you up with Ross. HP, strength, skill, res, no speed. Lord Shoku, the barracks, enjoy your stay. One point of res. Watch out, mages. Level three journeymen's coming for you. Uh, it is Medusa, and Medusa cut your HP to 1. I feel like that almost works in Gaiden just because its mechanics are so wonky to begin with. You'll 
probably hit. You'll... You'll probably hit! Fuck! Alright. Well, we, we got this. Ah, good old Fran, saving the day. I can't even be like, never punished, because I had like... Oh wait, shit. Okay, no, never punished, we're good, we're fine. Everything's okay. Medusa. <laughs> See, that's the kind of joke that I wish Kid Icarus Uprising made. Unironically, I think the only game that could do that without making me cringe. Okay. Nine speed. Low speed. Just give you the fucking slim lance. Three Houses is a fun sandbox that is in absolutely no way balanced. We've got like. Nine speed. Uh, eight cons, three. You know, if I were to make a Venn diagram of people I've recommended play Three Houses and people who snidely said, Haha, you kind of look like that Hubert guy, I would just have a circle. It's just a circle. It is a one-for-one -one correlation. Not sure I'm a fan. It's like, I have eyebrows. Uh, Hubert, I think, just has like a big meaty brow ridge. Yeah, because Hubert's got, like, straight hair. I like, expecting people to have played the Jugdraw games. That's a pitfall. Probably. I think Mecha would agree. Maybe I should shave my eyebrows? How about no? Ah. I see. Three defense. I see. Uh, shit. Wrong unit. Okay, well, that's fine. Also, I'm gonna turn off Molder animations. Like, I'm fine playing if animations on. I think it's probably a more pleasant experience for the chat, but... Oh, shit. But... Uh, do... I don't like killing animations. My class would be a dark mage. I guess. I mean, Mangs thinks so, so. I have, I have anything. Ah, and I don't have. I don't even have a vulnerary, damn it. Um, we'll just get. Vulneraries aren't in particularly short supply in this game. I have my sword. Okay, and there we go. Ah, yes. Am I a dark mage or am I a dark mage? I'm the head of his bandit pack, the mighty Bazba! Great. You missed. The Erector. <laughs> okay, alright. I'm I'm an adult. Uh, thank you for the follow. Enjoy your stay in my barracks. Wait, I hit. Bosma the Beast. How dare you stand where he stood. Jesus Christ, this man hits like a truck. Okay, you tried, Garcia. I respect that, but... 
Uh, pretty sure you just get shit can actually. Huh. Yeah, Vanessa's got pretty good defenses for a Pegasus Knight. Oh, damn. Not Seth Seth time. Seth Seth is like Erica's personal chauffeur. I'm just gonna keep poking you until you get off of that goddamn chair. All right, name me level up. Level two, HP. Uh, okay, you know, you mm, first impressions, you only get one. Yeah, this chapter is like, I feel like this should have been a Gaiden chapter. Like an FE7, where you could only bring like half of these dudes. Just, holy shit, it is crowded in here. Uh, did I just get crit? I, I think I just got crit. Okay. I'm gonna be perfectly honest here. I forgot he had a hand axe. You know what? Fuck it. Uh, I'm not gonna say this is a true Iron Man, but until this game kicks me hard enough in the mouth, we're just gonna keep going. The boulder has been shattered. Alas, alack. Holy shit. Alright. Wait, does... Okay, now I have to play this a lot more carefully. Well, shit. Guess we're using Natasha. Okay, it's like, it's an FE8 Iron Man. Like, what, the f what could go wrong? It's easy. Okay, just in case. And I mean, like, just in case. We're gonna go ahead and give you the steel sword. Okay, so no one dies, right? No one eats shit this turn? Yeah, you know what? Get... Molder's luck is what did him in. Ow. Greg, do I look like I'm on a fucking horse? Uh, okay. God, like, everyone else is, like, getting shit stomped by Bazba, and Seth can just come in at base, take a steel sword, and just trivialize him. My chair counts as a horse. Yeah, I guess legally that makes sense. Okay, fuck it. There's been enough bloodshed this day. trade you an iron sword? Maybe you don't kill the iron sword. You probably still do. No, you don't. Okay. You can give a kill to someone else. I like using Ross. I think he's... It's possible to use him. Strength. Yeah, well, 15 strength. Oh no. Bad unit. Only one, one stat. Uh, can they... Okay, so, I, well, actually, so here's the thing, bosses, boss XP caps out at, like, 100, so there's not really reason to give this to Ross, if I'm being honest, or, because, like, he's gonna level up on anything anyway, so, give it to Franz. It's funny, like, the conventional wisdom of, Use pre-promote to weaken boss and then kill with like your lowest level unit. 
oftentimes isn't the best strategy because unless exp gain is super nerfed you're just gonna overcap god fuck brad's molder died for this come on all right the boulder has been shattered calm a thing to remote trainees lord choku has used 100 bits i show up and molder dies i d i got crit okay <laughs> Like, he wasn't gonna get doubled, I just got crit. Anyway, yeah, we're just... We're going on. This isn't FE7, like... I have no emotional attachment to, like, anyone. Oh shit, okay, well... While this goes through the crawl, and I just press A... Shit, I gotta add a death counter now. God damn it. Okay. Uh, letting you know that the FE7 thing does not work yet. I should really- you know, I, it's funny, I have all of the FE8 thing- fuck it. Next stream there'll be an Iron Man counter thingy. I'll just put it down here. I, I didn't build this with Iron Manning in mind. Honestly, I didn't even build Mangs with Iron Manning in mind. I just added it on like a big red tumor. Yeah, we'll just- we'll do this later. We'll add a death counter next time. I actually want it to not look like shit. Current chapter, chapter four. Yeah, I suppose I could put, I could put an Iron Man death counter thing in do. Okay, this is the first time you get actual preparations. And check map real quick. Cyanor- Cyanoman? That's almost a good portmanteau. Okay, so... I kinda just wanna put Gilliam on. I mean, Arthur's not a terrible unit by virtue of s Light Mages get Slayer, or is it just Bishops? Hey, we got Franz's personal weapon, the javelin. Okay. Supply just Honestly, there's no reason to have a hand axe. Like it would just get him killed. Uh it's fucking fine. Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah, Slayer is gonna be. At least kind of useful. Like, that's part of the reason I was going to use Natasha, like, regardless. She has a higher magic growth, and she can actually be used defensively. Like, her defense is hot paper, but I think she has decent res. Yeah, this is Arthur. Sorry, not Arthur. Arthur. What a weird design. Okay, let's see. Bone Walkers. This. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Okay, so we need to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6. That one, right now. And. So, Garcia goes here. Bronze goes here, Seth goes back here.
one of my companions. She's kind of weird, honestly, but whatever, we have to save her. The memes demand it. Hey, let's draw your animations. Uh, okay, so he isn't actually slowed down at all. That's nice. If I'm being perfectly honest, uh, I think it'd be more accurate to call, like, Nino Beto Lysithia. It's like, I think part of Lysithia's appeal to general Three Houses players is the fact that her backstory is, like, pretty tragic when you get down to it. It's funny, it's just that, like, a bunch of people who have no interest in Fire Emblem saw that, like, XXX loot XXX video, and, like, they just rolled with it. Like, kudos to Obsidian Wa Wasp. He made a meme just out of fucking nowhere that Normie's clasp grasped onto. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> How much do you do to me? Okay, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna pop you here. What a bad unit. What a bad unit. Bad unit. Okay. I'm oh, just fucking just France, whatever. Oh, okay, France can't do. Damn, these guys are HP sponges. But I don't think warp on Lysithia is like a super great hat, a great feather in her hat, so to speak, like, yeah, you get it, but you get it super late. And it makes some endgame maps easier, but I don't think that, like, that alone is reason enough to use her. I think Dark Spikes is just a better reason to. Strength, speed, luck, defense, fuck. She's getting good level ups. I know you don't get it that late, but you don't get it early enough to where I'd say, like, it is reason enough, like, reason alone enough to use her, or, like, primary reason enough to use her. Like, Lysithia... She's a player phase nuke, unlike anything else the player has at their disposal. Oh, actually, did I just kill someone? Nah. I do need to be careful, though. I don't have a healer anymore. Please dodge. Okay, or we get in hand. Yeah, I think Lysithia is a good unit. Uh, Chaz overplays the hate to like play to the crowd, and then gets mad when the crowd like, bad, like yells at him in the comments. Ow. Oh damn. Okay. All right, Erica. Uh, I still don't like you, but good job. Houses uses so uh, normal effectiveness like rapier would do three times damage against cavalry, but effective gambits are only two times because they would just be able to shit stomp everything due to their inherent might. I don't even think I here's the thing I don't think Lysithia even falls into like the overrated camp of like oh wow this unit's super great when they like they're only sort of okay. Like, legitimately, Lysithia does things that no other unit can do to the same extent. Shit. Hey. 
This is gonna sound shitty, but just playing Fire Emblem for YouTube doesn't necessarily make your opinions, like, gospel in any way, shape, or form. Like, a lot of people who do make YouTube videos on Fire Emblem have a fair amount of experience with Fire Emblem, but, like, even having a good amount of experience with Fire Emblem does not preclude you from being wrong about things, or biased about it. Uh, let's see. I bring you down to like eight speed. Okay, let me just. Oh, did I just fucking kill Vanessa? I did not kill Vanessa. Ooh boy. I'm pretty sure that's not what I said, but I mean, if you put it in quotation marks, surely it can't be false. Uh, so you got Evil Eye. Okay, we're fine. Honestly, yeah, I think Mecha overstates some... Mecha overstates some pitfalls as being, like... <sighs> optimal in most of all scenarios. I think his Pitfall series is, like, good advice to the uninitiated player, because it kind of stomps some biases that, like, someone who's new to Fire Emblem might have. But, like, ultimately, it's, at the end of the day, it's just, it's a dude giving his opinion. It's a well-thought-out opinion, and it's an opinion with, like, good stock, but it is just an opinion. Hey, have we passed the three enough of the Three Houses honeymoon period where I can say that, like, a lot of the designs, class designs, character designs in that game are kind of bad. <laughs> like, will I be pissing in anyone's coffee if I do that? Oh shit. Oh god, don't kill Ross. <laughs> They're gonna kill the boy. Which in particular? A lot of the class designs, honestly. And I think it's a gen- I think it's a general thing. Uh, I guess, so knights, oh, damn. Okay, Archer, I see you. 6% crits doing work. Oh my, I, I'm gonna be real. Like, Laracial's funny. I don't really like her as a unit because god damn is she impossible to use. But like, this is charmingly cute. Anyway, uh, bad designs. Fire Emblem has, like, always straddled the line between real- like, pseudo-realism in terms of, like, fantasy designs and, like, bullshit fantasy. I don't- I don't. And I think the knight designs, like, good example, uh, promoted, or, uh, Gen 2, time skip, whatever we're calling it, Sylvain. His armor just looks like kind of plain and dingy. I'm not... It doesn't look fun. Yeah, okay. How is it that, like, Radiant Dawn came out in, what, 2007? And yet we still, like, it's still the best spell animations the series has had? Like, that feels wrong. That feels... They need to do a little better on that one. Just a little bit. Not even asking for a lot, just, like, a little better. Oh, damn. I don't even... Okay. I actually... I... I don't... Hell, if I'm being perfectly honest, I think Path of Radiance outdoes Three Houses with spell animation to some degree. They feel wimpy, not grand at all, they're just like little flickers of magic. Dot dot dot. Cool. 
Okay, yeah, we need to go up and help. We need to go up and help these guys. Okay, this is loot. High magic, okay, speed, good skill, shitty everything else. Oh, wait, shit. Did, not what I meant to do. So, loot. Honestly, I have no healers, so I can just put it on two. Uh, right, so I gotta be a little fucking careful. Okay, like, tell me when you see Cradleted or something, like, Sephirin's Tome, that you don't lose your shit, or Cymbeline, or, like, literally any of the high-level Radiant Dawn spells. And a part of the reason that the Radiant Dawn spells work so well is because they lock the camera. It's not that, eh. So I don't know how old a lot of you are in chat, but like, back in the GameCube era, it was very, very common for JRPGs especially to have over-deliberate animations. Like, a good example is look at like Pokemon Coliseum compared to Battle Revolution. Like, Pokemon Coliseum is the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl of 3D animations. It is so fucking... Okay. Play Path of Radiance again? I want to play Path of Radiance. Honestly, I, okay, I was gonna play Path of Radiance, but given that, like, I steal most of my viewership unceremoniously from Mangs, I felt like doing Path of Radiance as, like, my stream for a while would be kind of... Eh. Felt like viewers would get tired of it, so... I'll probably go back to the Tellius games once Mangs is done. Okay, uh, this is a little difficult. Radiant Dawn animations are cool, man. <laughs> they're like... They're pretty damn good. Uh, debate both of them. I don't really want to do that. And I don't have a javelin anyway, so like... Ah. Okay, I can... I bet you down here. Alright, and uh, can you... Okay, you've got 11. You have 12. 6. We're fine. Okay, so we gotta deal with all this shit. And unfortunately, Vanessa doesn't kill, so. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is. This is bad. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to rely on Mr. Seth a little bit. I'm gonna be real, I don't- I find it funny that, like, Koei Tecmo doesn't deliver on animations, given their pedigree. Like, bullshit over-the-top animations are, like, their thing. Okay, that fucking sucks. Uh, let's not get hit by that. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I will never not be jaded about Warriors. Like, you make- how do you make a game I've been looking to, forward to since I was a kid? 
and make me hate it. How? How the fuck do you... Oh, actually, this works. Hyrule Warriors is great. A Hyrule Warriors has a good story. Like, I don't know how they managed it, but the story of, like, some interdimensional chick watching a bunch of reincarnations of Link and getting super thirsty to the point of wanting to capture him and bring him into her harem of Link's is, like... I can buy that. Like, I can roll with that as a story conceit. I mean, to be fair, everyone screwed over Wii U owners because no one bought it, so everything was re-released. Okay. This might be a little problematic. Okay, you take 10... 9... Do you do 10 damage to me? Shit, okay. Did they not re-release Pikmin 3? Ah... Uh, okay... Here's the thing, I've like... I I've given up on getting Fire Emblem spinoffs that I like. Because around the time that Awakening came out, I got a bunch of spinoffs that like, I could only have dreamed of as a kid. And, like, all of them were at least somewhat disappointing. Like, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Like, an actual Fire Emblem JRPG. Cool! All of the characters are just... Arcanea. Just Awakening. And instead of being a Shin Megami Tensei game, like it was teased, it is, in fact, just... Uh, not even a good Persona game. Just, like, a Persona game. Real talk, I would like, I'd be so down for streaming. Oh shit. Okay, we're fine. We're probably fine. Uh, we're probably fine. Shit. All right, we're gonna move down here. Where the bad boys can't get you. Will I stream Sonic Boom? I do not own Sonic Boom. I think like the- Okay, Ross, listen, buddy. If you fucking crit, if you crit, you deserve to die. I think the last like Sonic game that I played and enjoyed was... Unleashed? Like Unleashed's day- Unleashed- Unleashed's day- Oh god, that's hard to say. The day stages in that game are really good. Uh, wasn't really a fan of the Werehog, but... Eh. Like, it didn't ruin the game for me. Yeah, I've only played the Wii Unleashed 2. That's the one I'm talking about. Really? It sucks? I should play some more. Real talk, Epic Yarn has no right being as good as it does. It is a Kirby game where you cannot... Like, there are no copy abilities. And it is so fucking good. It's so good. It is such a well-designed game from an aesthetic point of view. Like, Project Cross Zone. Cool. Oh, wait. It's just Krom and Lucina. Not great. Oh wow, T Tokyo Mirage Sessions. It's an idle game that was advertised as a Shin Megami Tensei game. If ever, like, look at the original trailer. It shows Fire Emblem characters from the entire series. And what we ended up getting, Just Awakening and... God damn, we're actually getting Fate's Awakening in the new one because fucking Azura's in it. 
It's just Fate's Awakening with Marth and Kane and Sheeta. I wanted it to be good. You have a vulnerary. You. Okay. You're just gonna hang out here and suck on this vulnerary until we can go rescue you. Okay. <laughs> the E-rank thing from Sonic Unleashed is fun. It's great. Yeah, it is funny that, like, Heroes technically is the most true-to-life, like, Fire Emblem spinoff. Like, as much as I kind of hate what they've done with it, and is how fervently I'm convinced that they have no idea what they're doing, doing in terms of, like, balancing and long-term planning. Oh, damn. Magic speed, luck, and HP. I don't know, like, I, I can play heroes and, like, be excited because I can grab characters from Fire Emblem games that I like. Yeah, it's oversaturated of Fates and Awakening. There were no Tellius characters to begin with, but, like... It's something. Oh, shit, you're almost dead. I just realized Arthur can crit, or Arthur can crit, and I'll just die. I don't want that to happen. It's Seth time. Oh yeah, it's been a while since the last Fates and Awakening banner, but here's the thing, like... If you like a character from Fates or Awakening, there's a very good chance that they're, all, they're in the game and have been for some time. So you've been able to enjoy them for a while. If you're a fan of a Tellius character, yes, this year has been very good to Tellius fans. There's still a very good chance that, like, your Tellius fave is not in the game. Like, look at a breakdown of unit distribution in Heroes, and you'll see that it's still really biased in favor of Awakening, Fates, and Heroes OCs. Would I die? I wouldn't die, okay. I've given up on the notion of, like, Jugdral fans having anything. Yeah, Scruffy, that's a very good point. Legitimately, if they have, they're going to run out of units in Awakening. And, like, Awakening's not a super small game. But they've just, they blew their load on Awakening characters so quickly that, like, there's, like, very few people left to add. It's why I kind of roll my eyes when I see people ask, like, no, we need more Echoes characters. Like, Echoes is a really small cast, and most of them are already in the game. Okay, we don't talk about Priam. We don't talk about <laughs> fucking Maeda's Tellius fanfiction. Look, I'm not saying that, like, there's no room for more Echoes characters, but... Looking at, like, a cast breakdown, if you're a character in Echoes, it's very likely that you're already in the game. You know what, Ross? If you miss this, you deserve to die. Good job. We don't talk about Priam. We don't. We don't talk about Priam, and we don't talk about Spot Pass Emerin. Not in this stream. Oh god, we don't talk about Spot Pass Emerin. You know, honestly, it's worse than Spot Pass Casca, because at least Casca had, like, some reason to becoming a vegetable. 17.
Yeah, it took him long enough. Like, Awakening had a really powerful moment with Emeryn's death. And then they just, they pooped on it. Were I Chaz, this would be a point in time where I would just mash the soundboard until you all told me to die. But it was just, ugh. Like, it still amazes me just how badly they shot themselves in the foot there. Yeah, it is, it's kind of weird because Marcus is at least somewhat popular to people who like He's popular in the same way that Seth is popular, because he's just a broken unit. Skill, speed, luck. And he carries two entire games. I don't think Spot... Was Aversa Spot Pass? I don't think Spot Pass Aversa was bad. I think Spot Pass Aversa was, like, somewhat sensible. Level 2, level 4... Yeah, I think her supports are actually okay. Mm, could give it to loot. But I don't really want to. We're gonna give this to Fernandes. What, no death quote? Lame. Okay, level up. Level 7. Speed, defense. Okay, sure. That's fine. That's fine, whatever. We killed all the monsters. Great. Chapter 5, The Empire's Reach. Okay, we're good. Uh, that's, that's my, this is a joke. Joking. An ominous wave. An ominous wave lies in the sea slot. Part of the reason I'm not a huge fan of this game is that the monsters are never really explained and they don't make for compelling antagonists at all. Like, they are the definition of filler enemies. I don't like it in Fates. I like it a little more in Awakening, even though there's less unit variety than there is in Sacred Stones. Like, at least the Risen are, like, explained. They're like, okay, they're like a construct of Grima that came back in time to fuck over everything. All right, cool. You set that up, I can buy them as, like, fodder enemies now. Ah, uh, yes. Again, in the name of not wanting to piss in people's, like, coffee, I don't make a stink about Byleth being a nothing character, but, like... God, Byleth is such a nothing character. <laughs> okay, uh... Our turn... I mean, by less better than Corrin by virtue of, like, nothing is better than offensively bad. Yeah, I feel like if you're defending the- if you're defending Three Houses writing by saying, oh yeah, the protagonist was intentionally bad, you should probably, like, take a second and reevaluate what you're saying. Like, Corrin's infuriating, but, like, I feel like Corrin at least has a place in the story. He doesn't have as prominent a place as he should, but, like, eh. But, yeah, Corrin's still worse. I, I can't, can't really defend that. Corrin's much worse. Uh... The thing that surprises me is that, like, Byleth's, like, really popular, even amongst people who, like me, gave Fates a lot of shit for its writing. Like, you see a bunch of people, like, touting female Byleth as, like, ah, what a great character, female Byleth and Edelgard, ah, it's such a beautiful relationship, and, like, it's sort of, like, I'll give it that. 
as far as a relationship between an antagonist and a piece of cardboard goes, like, female Byleth and Edelgard is actually kind of okay. By virtue of a main, the theme, like, the game's main theme is a love song, of all things. It's just, like, there's no rapport there. Like, you could replace female Byleth with a love pillow, and it would probably work all the same. Oh yeah, female Byleth and Dimitri. Honestly, it's just an Otome game. It's like damaged people coming to you, the player, for solace. And you find that kind of cute. It's like people who ship the generic MC of a, like, a harem Otome game with, like, damaged bad boy, Uwuogu. And, like, that's fine. Like, it's not so infuriatingly bad as to warrant me pissing on it, but... It's not good. Female by Leth is popular because girl. This is- it's a case of, hello, I am girl, I am popular. Because, like, her design's garbage. Her interactions don't really recontextualize the story all that much. Like, female Corrin, I kind of get it. Because gender roles change the dynamic of the narrative being told. But, like, female by Leth is a mute. With a fu oh. I completely forgot Tethys was here. Oh god, I'm I'm forever salty at Korn's inclusion. Korn was only included as a promotional character, and like you could have picked literally any other fire em well not literally, you someone's gonna point like Camilla, but like literally any other fire emblem lord would have worked better. And because of the way Smash is, now Korn's just gonna be there forever, and I'm like low key salty about about it. Alright. Oh, ow. Hey! No, I know, I get Roy as a promotional character, and personally, I don't think Roy deserves to be in Smash. I think the only characters... Uh, HP, Skill Luck, Rez, God, uh, get the other four stats, please. So... I think it was fine for Roy to be in, me in Melee... I think the promotional character works when Fire Emblem was relatively unknown in the West, but like... In current day, there are only three characters that need to be in Smash Bros. and Fire Emblem. Marth, Ike, Robin. That's it. No one else. Fire Emblem has wasted their slots to such a ludicrous degree that like... We really can't get any new characters without it kind of being a slap in the face to other fans. And I understand it. Oh wait, yeah, this guy can one. <laughs> this guy fucking one shots loot. I remember because I edited the death compilation. And loot just gets absolutely stomped by this dude. <sighs> I'm just saying, Project M had, Project M had the right idea. Damn. Okay. Uh, how much damage do? You 19, 17. Yeah, Krom doesn't need to be in this game. Krom did not need to be in this game. Like, I get that Sakurai is trying to, you know, placate... I don't want to be mean. Like, Awakening Babies is kind of disparaging. But, like, that, that was the crowd that, like, people who were new to Fire Emblem and hopped in because of Awakening. That was the crowd being placated there, and like, you already have Robin and Lucida. Crom didn't need to be in here at all. Project Down Wario is cool. Like, I love his shoulder bash. The Warrior Land games are super fun in the GBA. Yeah, I realize that Crom didn't take much resources, but like, and I know people are gonna be like, "Well, they don't take up a slot," but like, they kind of do. They kind of take up a slot, at least in terms of, like, audience reception. Like, you have a game that is filled to the brim with characters from one series, and those characters are, by and large, kind of uninspired. You're gonna give people a bad taste in their mouth. 
Yeah, Shoulder Bash wasn't included until Ultimate, and even then, they do it better in Project M. Yeah, the slot could have gone to another Echo Fighter. I mean, even if what you're saying is true, like, there are other Echo Fighters that could have done better with that. Do I get one shot? I don't. Yeah, Captain Falcon... I guess Captain Falcon's fine, like, moveset-wise, just because it's so iconic. Ganondorf needs a complete overhaul. Like, if someone showed me Ganondorf playing in Smash and told me, yeah, that's Ganondorf, a dude from Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, I'm like, no, 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 fuck it, no, he isn't. Not at all. Ooh, that hurts. Uh, no, I think, oh, don't crit. Don't, oh, don't crit. Okay, good. Oh, okay, you can crit. That's fine. Like, a genre of video that I find really interesting is, like, the redesigned Smash moveset videos where they actually give some thought into how a character would best represent them, their games. Because a lot of characters just, they suffer from being dated. They suffer really hard from being dated. Like, someone like... Someone like... DK, or... I mean, Link kind of got an upgrade, but, like... Mario... Samus? Samus is a good example of really squandering potential from her source game. Because, like, Metroid Prime, Kirby, I'm speaking to the choir here, like, Metroid Prime has a bunch of, oh, Jesus Christ, has a bunch of cool mechanics that you can incorporate, like, missile types, the uh, super, what is it? I, I just call it a shoulder charge, but it's not cool. At the very least, they could do more of missiles. Oh, yeah, Kirby's super dated. I think Kirby kind of works in the same way Mario does in just being a fundamentals character. No, I don't mean like homing missile and super missile. I mean like ice missile. Like make him like make Samus kind of like Shulk where she can toggle through her available options. Okay, maybe beams? I don't know. I just think Samus has a bunch of cool material to work with in the Prime and Super Metroid. And they just don't. Okay, I need to set so oh, Jesus. Yeah. Samus hasn't been all Adam hasn't authorized Samus to use a good move set. HP, defense, killing me smalls, please. Offensive, offense. What I ask of you. Seven, five, you won't die. Uh, you don't know how much I wanted that to just happen in the game. My god. Other M was, like, really cool. Until you, like, remember that you had to play it on a fucking D-pad. And they lobotomized Samus' character for no reason. See, I feel like they updated Link partially because... Ugh. Partially because Breath of the Wild came out, and there are like literally two other links that don't play interestingly enough to be considered like good alts. Like, why doesn't Toon Link have a hurricane spin? Why doesn't Toon Link have bomb arrows?
it's a game that would have played honestly pretty well with like the Wiimote and Nunchuck. Alright, I have a Draco Shield. Or, I keep forgetting that the Draco Shield is technically not even called the Draco Shield until Talius. Or, yeah, it's called the Dragon Shield. Ooh. Okay, we're fine. Ow. Oh shit, do you double me? Do you double me? Okay, good. Shulk is... I could not be happier with Shulk and Smash. Xenoblade Chronicles 1 is, like, honest to god, my pick for the greatest JRPG. Period. It is so fucking good. No, I don't think Sakurai is trolling anyone, but I think when a lot of people like talk about, man, it would be cool to have like X character in Smash and they could do Y thing. A lot of the times we don't give a lot of thought to development resources. Like, yeah, it would be cool to prune down Smash's roster and update the characters with like cooler movesets. But like, if you at this point, if you cut characters, you are just gonna piss people off. So it's easier to just, like, keep the work that you've done and put all new development towards, like, new inclusions. Uh, I really hated Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Like, I actively dislike that game. Which is weird, because, like, I love Xenoblade Chronicles 1. I think it's a fucking masterpiece. But Xenoblade 2... His story is just so bad. Like it. Well, okay, it's not. It's not awful, but it is overly tropey and pandering for my liking. Yeah, I'll get to Vanessa. I'm ecstatic about the Xenoblade remaster. I will. I will shill that game until the cows come home. Like, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It had me at the beginning, also, good luck, good level up, nice job, appreciate ya. It had me at the beginning with, like, the world-building build-up of, like, wow, we're living in a floating sea. Like, that- it wasn't quite as cool as living on, like, the remains of a long-dead titan, but it was kinda cool. And, like, there are, like, fantastic beasts roaming around. Like, that's cool. But... then... I think, like, I started raising eyebrows as soon as the first, like, Elysium cutscene came out, where, like, Rex wakes up and, like, the camera just, like, weirdly focuses on Pyra's chest. Like, there's no reason for it other than to be pandering. Like, it feels... People jokingly called it Waifu Blade Chronicles, and, like... I don't disagree. I I'm not- I'm not spoiling anything in late game, but like, that's like something that happens at the very beginning, like within the first- the prologue of the game. I think it's gameplay, it gets more fun than Xenoblade Chronicles 1 eventually. God damn it, level speed! Like, eventually it gets more fun than Xenoblade Chronicles 1. But starting out, the combat is a lot slower, a lot more clunky, and a lot less intuitive than the original Xenoblade. Because in order to auto-attack or use arts or anything, you have to stand completely fucking still.
Look, I finished the game just so I could have an opinion about it. Uh, let's see. 18... 15. You would live. Right? 18, 3, 15, go. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, uh, I gotta pick up Natasha from soccer practice real quick. I feel like Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is a game that I would appreciate more if I wasn't already, like, overly familiar with generic harem anime tropes. Like, I paid my dues as a young kid. Oh, shit. Oh, did we say- did someone say a kill for Franz? I disagree- I disagree about it being a well-executed story. Absolutely none of the emotional beats. Like, none of it did anything for us. Shit. Okay, I guess we're sitting here. Also, nuclear stomp. Welcome to the barracks. Hopefully you don't hate your stay. I think quest 64. Okay, I was like, I don't think Xenoblade. Ah, oh, shit. Would you double me? Five, seven. Okay, you wouldn't double me. Right? God damn it, Ross. I should have just used your daddy. I... I'd probably... I'd probably end up using the Crypt Forge glitch, but... Ugh. I don't think Maniac Mode is that cancer. It's not fun to play, but it's not actively infuriating. Like, honestly, I think all the Crypt Forge glitch really does is it makes characters like Marcia and, and uh, Ileana a lot better. You're that man. I hate that talk counts as like a, per a full action in this game. I'm gonna be honest, if you play Maniac Mode, you're doing it- Oh, for fuck's sakes. Okay, Seth can take out one. <laughs> yeah! Given that you can only do it with, like, what, a Slim Lance and Thunder? It's not gonna break the bank. Sleep tight, Greg. Gergster. Okay. All right, I forgot you can forge slim swords. It doesn't break the game. 
And honestly, I kind of like it since, like, Tome Forging sucks ass in Telius. Oh, shit. Uh, I would have to be very careful. Okay, this is actually a problem. Wait, no, it's not. Not necessarily, anyway. I do have a javelin. So if I can hit the javelin, which I probably can't. Do eight damage to me. Okay, we'll just we'll give this a try. All right, we're good. I will say it probably makes Clash a lot less frustrating. I don't... I didn't actually remember that Maniac Mode touched money. Actually, you know, Kirby, I'm curious on your opinion here. So, I think most people agree that the Lagoos, like, from a gameplay perspective, the mechanic was done kind of poorly. Well, let's say you're put in charge of, like, a hypothetical FE9 remake. How do you change Lagoos' mechanics to be both viable and fun? Or do you keep them the same? every band. Ermer Slayer. Kind of a shame I didn't think of that. In fairness, if I were remaking FE9, I would take out Super Kanto. I do not think Super... Paladins should not have Super Kanto. Like, being mounted is already enough of a boon. I want to make sure I'm not getting... I don't hate... So I think, like, Radiant Dawn Lagoos aren't awful per se, but it's just, like, if you want a Lagoos, and frankly, you'd probably only want a Lagoos for their, like, top-off potential, the game gives you literally the best Lagoos in the entire, like, zero... The best Lagoos in, like, the entire lore of Tellius. So, like, there's no real reason to use it outside of maybe Volug. the geese. Yeah, that's a good idea. That won't get me killed. I should probably heal you. I feel like hawks are like, they're like the speedy mercenaries of that game, of like the Lagoos. They have enough bulk to like not get completely shit stomps, but they have enough speed to double and like dodge what they need to. Oh yeah, if we're talking Radiant Dawn, they're the exact same. Save for like... Yeah, 
I think the forging mechanic was changed. Kirby would have a better idea. I will say English Radiant Dawn is better simply by virtue of, like, giving the Black Knight an actual reason to have done what he did. Oh boy. Lol, that first fight didn't count, you just fought my armor, is, like, literally the stupidest fucking reason. Like, that's fa that's bad fanfiction levels of, like, absurd. I don't, I don't trust that, and I don't want to have to read dudes. Let's see, do you hurt me? Yes, a lot. What's your defense? Your defense is... I'll give you a defense. I'm honestly not a huge fan of them having kept, uh, them having renamed the difficulties in Radiant Dawn. Because I remember when that game came out, it reviewed so poorly because most reviewers played it on, like, normal mode. Which is Japanese hard mode. And Radiant Dawn's already a fairly hard Fire Emblem game for first-timers, or honestly just in general. So they played it on normal mode and, like, got- a lot of reviewers said, like, yeah, the Dawn Brigade chapters are impossible. Like, this is a terrible Fire Emblem game. And it reviewed like shit. But that's just because they played it on essentially hard mode, and they were bad at Fire Emblem. Like, what do you expect? Oh shit, I remember. Someone actually made a comment about how Radiant Dawn needed Mii's or motion control. Speed! Good enough! I'll take it. I would. Okay, so I don't double. I don't get doubled, and you don't have a hand axe, so I can visit this village without too much concern. Imagine a me avatar. <laughs> Imagine, like, ruining the one, like, pretty objectively good continent. With a uh, fucking self-insert avatar. I swear to God. I swear to God and all that is holy. If they remake any of the games and put in, like, a self-insert avatar, I'm gonna lose my shit. Hell, if they remake FE7 and make the game revolve around Mark, my shit will be lost. 
Like, an avatar is the least interesting thing you c about any Fire Emblem game. No one cares. Hey, can you- can I just recruit you now? <laughs> like, you'd still be bad, but you wouldn't be unusable if you recruited here. <laughs> oh god, they're gonna add avatars to an FE4 remake just because it's a game where you can hug and fug, my dude. I'm gonna train Arthur just so I have another heal bot. Look, I know you're like joking about- I know you're not joking about the haha say I can get with Lin thing. I would hate that. I would hate that so fucking much. Like, I'm pretty- I'm pretty confident in saying that like People who think that Avatar X any of the lords and the FE7 are a thing are reading into that game with the subtext with like the general game design direction of like post new mystery. Strength and luck. Pretty good. Cause like most of Lin's dialogue to the player is like expository. And what isn't expository is the little goodbye at the end of Lin mode, which, hey, Elwood and Hector, Hector get one too. And that's like, that's it. Okay, I need you to not double crit. I mean, to be fair, Echo's added like Conrad and fucking Faye, so it's not without sin. Emblem Fire? Oh, that's... That's an odd name. Anyway, thank you for the follow. Enjoy your stay in my barracks. I feel like... If they remake FE6, they're probably gonna make, like, what's his dick, uh, Al? Al and Tina, like, the manga characters, playable. Okay, when you consider Faye and Conrad, like, consider Faye and Conrad not necessarily in a bubble, but as, like, two characters that were actively added to the game. Like, they were added to an already existing... Ooh, ow. Oh, I can just fucking leave. Goodbye. So they added a character, like, straight out of an anime, like, obsessive stalker character that is absolutely head over heels for the main character to, like, an unhealthy degree in all of her endings. And a character that only exists as, like, oh, he was a super secret brother of Celica who survived a fire as a child, and now he roams the land with a mysterious mask. Helping her from the shadows. And by helping her from the shadows, I mean, like, upstaging her in any event that is meant to give her some sort of agency. I... I don't... I do not think Conrad was a good inclusion in the slightest. My problem with making the manga characters playable is that FE6 already has a problem of, like, huge fucking cast bloat. Like, it's a... It's essentially a soft retelling of Marth's tale. But it does a lot of things worse. And it inherits a lot of the character bloat from that. Like, FE6 is one of those games that I think is probably worth Iron Manning if you're gonna play. Because there's just, there's too many fucking characters. You just can't use them all. And obviously you can't use all the characters in any game, but like... Even compared to FE7, FE8, FE9... There's, there's so many fucking characters. Okay, kind of tepid take. Burkut's not a good villain. At all. Like, Burkut is a very mediocre villain. Hell, 
only held aloft, like singularly held aloft by Ian Sinclair's god tier voice acting. Like, I'm not sure I'm willing to die on that hill, but damn if I don't believe it. Okay, we can give Erica a kill here. Like, realistically, Rakut's relationship with- like, Renee is a plot device. She- like, she could not have any more death flags planted around her if you tried. She is there to, like, make Rakut seem unhinged and, like, more manic in what he does, but, like... It's not a good... Like, Ferdinand, or Ferdiad? Ferdiad, I think it is? Not Ferdinand. Ferdinand's the cool dude, but... Ferdiad's a pretty good villain. Because, like... I think it's more accurate to say that, like, he's an antagonist. Like, he just... He fundamentally disagrees with Clive about some things, and they're, like, sent their self separate ways because of it. I think that's a good way to do, like, villain writing. I don't think like, hoo hoo, I want to be the evil emperor because power is mine by birthright. I don't think that's a very good conceit for an antagonist. People like Renea because she's cute and like by design, she is meant to have the player feel sorry for. All right, Luke, that's fine. Yeah, to be fair, Gaiden had like, Echoes has the best fucking soundtrack in the series. And honestly, if you didn't give it to Echoes, I would give it to Gaiden. Gaiden's a lot more melody focused than most Fire Emblem games. So, a lot of its themes are more traditionally catchy than some like recent Fire Emblem titles. Does Franz get shit stop? She does not. Do have a heal? Okay, but Erica does. Uh, give me heal, please. Thank you. Staff heal, I think. You only heal 13, don't you? What is your magic? Two? I thought you at least had three magic. Her base magic's so bad. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna, in the meanwhile, just go ahead and do that. Because we're gonna have to heal before we can try and face tank this boss. I mean, there are some, there are some titles in Gaiden that are completely different than Echoes. Like, I think... Union is the name of the song. It's a song that plays when you recruit, like, Est or Reunite the Pegasus Sisters. And Gaiden, uh, the orchestration, or the... Jesus Christ, yeah. The orchestration in Gaiden is melancholy, and, like, almost plays as, like, a sad thing? It isn't. But in, like, in Shadows of Valentia, it's, like, super upbeat and, like, a triumphant theme. Enemy of the Empire! Poke. And Erica, uh, she's trying. You're trying to make me like you. It's not gonna work. Level 6. HP, strength, speed. Jesus Christ, this is good, Erica. Yeah, that boss did have a good, like, mug. That was a tight spot. Guiding Ring! Okay, chapter six. Okay, we've only been going for like two hours. Oh, five X? Do I not get a chance to decline these? Oh, right, because this is the Ephraim. I forgot the guide and chapters are just like Ephraim root. Okay. What a pleasant surprise. It's Master Valter.
I think this is probably what I missed most about streaming. I don't get to bounce Fire Emblem opinions off of people when I'm like... ...secluding myself in my bedroom, just like working. Uh... Okay, I will be right back. I'm gonna grab something to drink because my throat's starting to hurt. I'm still a little sick. We'll be right back. Also A Demon of Elru, thanks for the follow. Enjoy your stay in my barracks. Or don't, I'm not your mom. I'm getting milk. Okay, sorry for forgetting to mute my game, but we're back. And instead of milk, I brought alcohol. So this is Ephraim, or Ephraim, or Ephraim? I don't know. Heroes is very vague on the subject. Oh boy, yeah, these guys are... This chapter's gonna be a little tough.
This is Ford. Mm. Mecha does not like Ford. I think Ford is the is a very good example of a well-designed cavalier. Simply because he's not a, com a combat god. He's a cavalier. He has good con, he's got good aid, and he has cavalier movement. He does not need to be good at combat. Pretty sure I've made this clear to Mecha before, that like... Like, he doesn't like Ford because Mecha... Mecha's in the GBA mindset of all Cavaliers must be good because that's how Cavaliers were, des like, designed. But I also think that that's just a terrible way to design Cavaliers. They should not be combat gods because they're already utility gods. So having a Cavalier that's, like, combat challenged is, in my opinion the better way to go around designing it. You're back, well, so am I. I mean, he recognizes that he's still good, but Mecha doesn't like Ford because he go it, like, crushes his expectation of all cabs are good. Hmm, excuse me. It's not like Ford can't do anything in combat. It's just that Ford is not on the same, like, combat tier as a lot of other Cavaliers in the series. Like, he can still do damage, and if you train him, he'll still be usable late game. Yeah, I think, for what I actually think that heroes had the right idea with how they treated cavalry units. They offset their, like, higher mobility with lower stats. Exactly, if cavalry are combat gods, there's literally no point to using infantry. Unless you design a bunch of maps with, like, terrain that caval- Look at that! Look at Ford! Proven Mecha wrong! <laughs> but yeah, no, if- if Cavaliers are combat gods, you just, you don't use infantry units. There's not really re a reason to unless maps are designed for a bunch of terrain that Cavaliers can't pass. I don't necessarily think that, like, the terrain in Three Houses is super... Is that 6 plus 16, right? I guess the problem of saying that, like, Three Houses adequately nerfs mounted units is that the majority of the maps in Three Houses are outside. And because of which, like, things like stairs aren't really a thing. Like, they're a thing on a couple maps, but by and large, like, your cavalry units will just be able to speed by everyone else. Especially since, for some stupid reason, they decided, hey, you know what would be a good idea? Having disparities in infantry movement. Yeah, that was a good idea that we threw away, like, how many games ago? Like, I'm okay with thieves having higher movement, but all promoted infantry classes should have the same movement. All right, take it easy, Scruffy. Have yourself a wonderful night. See, I don't mind- I feel like I wouldn't mind games where Cavaliers are, like, as good as they are if, like, the game consistently, like, 
put enemy threats with, like, good horse-killing weapons on the map. Because as it stands, like, flyers are weak to an entire weapon type, as well as, like, a couple of sorts of magic. Meanwhile, cavalry, they're weak to what? Horse Slayer, Longsword, Halberd. That's it. It was the only three in, like, your main lord's weapon, but whatever. This is, there's not enough, like, counter... I don't want to say counterplay, because it's not like a PvP game, but... There aren't enough checks built into the game itself to really, like... Counteract Cavalier's Dominance. HP, Strength, Defense, Resistance. Mmm, good level forward. Proud of you. I'm gonna use you to spite- I'm gonna use you to, sp to spite Mecha. Just because. Yeah, you'll probably hit. I've played so many FE8 ROM hacks, I was half expecting him to pull out a Glock. HP, Strength, Luck, Resistance. Oh my god, I popped your Twitch cherry, Death Star. I'm honored. Enjoy that little thing by your name. What, you don't like me saying pop? You're still... I mean, hey! Yeah, Steel Tomes, that would work. Just make it Warriors. Send Ephraim and Kyle up. I do kind of wish I had a javelin, but it's fine. I'm honestly just gonna keep Orson here to, like, rescue drop forward back to the fight. Okay, I need you to hit, buddy. Oh, I should've- uh, I should've healed. I'm pretty sure you come with a steel sword. Yeah, an 80's not really something I wanna bank on. Origin of your name. That's a, actually a longer story than it has any right bearing. So once upon a time, way back when, I had like, I'm talking like when YouTube launched, I had a username that was like Blue Triforce, I think it was. It was like color and like Nintendo thing. So Blue Triforce. And eventually I slightly pivoted because my username was honestly just, like, a derivative of another user's name. It was, like, Purple Triforce or something. I liked her videos as a kid, so I'm like, I'll be Blue Triforce. This won't annoy her at all. It did. It annoyed her a lot. Uh, for some, I guess she follows me on Twitter now, so that's nice. Uh, then I pivoted to the Cyan Yoshi. And eventually when I realized, yeah, maybe having, like, a Nintendo character in your username that you use for a bunch of stuff isn't exactly the greatest look, so I just shortened it to Cyan Yo, because I thought it sounded cooler. Anyway, that's the story. I guess it wasn't that long in the end, but... That's all she wrote. Please hit, please hit, please hit. Thank you. Oh shit, you don't kill! God damn it, Ford! That's okay, you're trying your best, buddy. You're trying your best, sweetheart. Oh, you're back with popcorn? Ah, the Twitch VOD will be... We got Twitch VODs, you'll be okay. Also, what is that? Axel Concern? Axel Con... I really like those emotes. 
They're they're just the right amount of stupid. Wow, Emblem Fire. Truly. Your name. So so much depth. Need more stories until we are on popcorn. Okay, Orson, that's a little overkill, but whatever. Uh, stories. I'm not sure how many I... I mean, I guess I can tell, like, weird Fire Emblem stories. I mean, I've been playing this series since I was eight. Oh, we're spamming emotes. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, to be fair, like, with speed... Kirby's in a weird position because he established himself as, like, uh, someone people should give a shit about. Pretty early on, like, Kirby's been speedrunning Fire Emblem and Kirby games for a while. I don't re I don't exactly know how long, but it's been... It's been a while. I've known about him for, like, many years. So he can't- he couldn't really, like, change his handle without getting, uh... It would make a lot of things a lot more confusing with people recognizing him. No emotes. Uh... I'm honestly not sure if Titania's Glock comes through in the emotes. Actually... I don't think it's a Glock, I think it's a PP9. Maybe on phone it is. Ah, it's the one thing I don't like is that if you ever make edits to a Twitch emote, you have to like wait 20 years for it to get reapproved. Yeah, I was kind of in the weird situation of I wanted to have like these emotes have text on the bottom. So they weren't just literally like face splices, but I'd need to move a Glock up a lot higher for it to work. Ford, are you gonna just die? Yes, please. Tell your tale. I'm out here eating toast and raiding the good cavalier. Ford is not the type of guy to miss a 96 and get himself killed. Thank you very much. Oh god, Ephraim's a mage killer, huh? Is this what we're doing now? HP and res. Okay. 28. Minus 14. And there. So you would do exactly 16 damage. Oh wait, no you... 14, 14... No, you would do 14. You would actually kill me if I... Way to do it. Not gonna do that. I gotta wait for my boy Ford to get back with a killer lance. Yeah, Mulder died. 
I figure, fuck it, we'll make this an Iron Man. We'll prove Mangs and Mecha wrong. Okay, I think that's C lances. And this is not a complete no Seth run because holy hell. Ugh god, the spider chapter's gonna suck. Like I'll I will try not to use him, but it is I'm not sure if my Vanessa is good enough to like actually get to the spiders in time. Or kill the spider and get to the villagers. Yeah, we have a very trustworthy Orson instead of Seth. You know, I like the Fort Mangs people. I gotta wonder why sometimes they just sand send me like random smut in my DMs. HP, speed, defense, resist, mage killer. <laughs> mage killer. <laughs> like, I, I appreciate you thinking of me, but maybe don't. Oh, shit. Whoops. Okay, well, Forge gonna take a sweet time getting here. There. I mean, in fairness, I do like- I like Fort Mang's Discord. I think a lot of the people there are, like, very nice, good to talk to. It's probably- nowadays it is the Discord where I spend the most time. Like, if you just want to find me in the wild, just, like, sit around on the Heroes channel in Fort Mang's Discord and you'll find me eventually. Ah, Smut, S-M-U-T. Like, okay. Like, I'm not offended by it, but I also don't really need that. Uh, can I... I can actually... Yeah, Google Smut. That'll go well. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna use Orson, whatever. Gimme. Yeah, the Fort Mang's Discord is kind of a little bit of a wild west. I think that's a good thing at times. Other times it can devolve into like pure shit postery. Okay. Ow. Oh, actually, that's nice. I can kill the, ki kill the F frame. Oh. But you weren't gonna double. Hmm. You get. Would really appreciate it if you missed.
shit. I actually get to you, so we're gonna run away. I'll be brought down to 6 HP, but this will be a good use of the elixir. Okay. A late HP skill. No res. That's a shame. It's okay. Our boy Ford is here with an elixir, I guess. Oh boy, Dragon Leaf is really good. I think it's got what, like three more might than the Rapier? Four more might, I think. I think the Rapier only has six might. Manga's hacking team is, honest to god, full of really talented people. HP, skill, re mage killer! Like, the people there are super, super knowledgeable about FE8 hacking. I'm sure there's probably some, like, hoity-toity FE8 hacking god that would disagree with me, but, like, they're very, very quick at making changes. And I think Mangs is a pretty good team leader, all things considered. Surely you won't, won't miss both of these, right? Okay. A DS Noon, uh, like... Hacking Squad. Like, DS Noon, Thayer, Imperial, PH, Rage... I think Lemon Tart's like hacker man or map maker man. It's it's crazy how quickly that they can get through chapters. Ow. Would have liked to have hit that one, but we take it. Do you have a job? Wait, I can kill you on the counter. Back. I don't think the soldier can get me. I think I'm six spaces away. Yeah, for the most part. Oh, shit. Gotta plug that hole. I know Mangs kind of presents himself as like a little shit posty, but honestly, he's pretty disciplined when it gets down to that gets down to it. Ah, Kyle, you can just do you have anything? You can just chill here. There's nothing for you to do. <laughs> yeah, honestly, we're more than we're probably halfway done with a hacks development. HP, strength, speed, defense. God, his offensive growths are good. Hmm, okay. I need you to hit these. We need to prove Mecha wrong. I also need to record something for Mecha, so...
I mean, people that dislike Ephraim, uh, they don't dislike him for his kit. They dislike him for his characterization. Oh wait, shit, this is A-Man's. I realize you're being sarcastic. <laughs> I didn't look at the fucking username. <laughs> Like, Ephraim reminds me of Fe7 Raven. His gross are just- His gross are exactly what they need to be, and his bases are absurd for his level. Ford finally get this kill. Well, you've been around the stream long enough to where I have a good idea about your opinions on certain things. Yes, that is... This is Mr. I Shag My Dead Wife Orson. Mr. No Shoes, No Pulse, No Problem himself. A villain darker than this game has any right having? So, Orson's wife, the reason Orson betrays you is because his wife died, and like, Lion, or I guess the Demon King, Grotto in general says like, hey listen, if you join us, if you betray Ephraim, we will bring your wife back to life. And they do, but it's heavily implied that like, she's a corpse, like not even a living corpse, just like a fucking corpse with like no life behind her eyes. So yeah, it's kind of dark, honestly. You have five res. Don't let your seven to me. Go ahead, live. No, so, uh, Poogie Guy is named Ose o Oseon, I think, now? I think that's what the translation was, but for the longest time, he was Orson with an I, so O R S I N. I guess I'm pronouncing Orson or Orson a little incorrectly, but yeah. FE8 has an O. FE5s has an I. Also, Ong Jae Ryu, uh, thank you for the follow. Enjoy your stay in my barracks. Hopefully. Hopefully enjoy your stay. Yeah, it's only implied. Like, it's not that... It's not dark in terms of, like, what's being shown, but subject matter-wise, it's like, huh. Didn't expect this. Okay, alright. Mmm, Ford, buddy. Gotta hit, gotta hit those. Strength, skill, defense, resistance. Good unit. All right, A very eventful battle. I'm just gonna give your silver sword to Kyle, cause you know I'm. I got the feeling that you won't be needing that in the future.
And stab. Up. Oh. Okay. All right. The battle rage is on. Hey, javelin, you. I would care a lot more about Leon if they character they spent more time characterizing his relationship with Erica and Ephraim. Aside from him just warping in and being like obviously evil to us the player and like mage killer <laughs> defense and resistance strength and skill. Okay, this is a really good Ephraim. We've secured the entire castle. Everyone is dead. Uh, he's probably pretty res blessed. I don't remember what his res growth is, but generally speaking, male lords that are offensively minded don't have much in the way of res. Unless you're Ike, apparently. Erica suppresses her feelings. Okay, yep. I know that feel. I'm well versed of suppressing. Chapter. Oh, this chapter rocks. Hang on, I got like every time. Fire emblem. Cipher. Spider. Ah, uh, really? Oh wait, got I switch down the roof? Yeah, all right. Spooter. I love that they gave this chapter a cipher card. I have. Great. Remove Spooter Man. Tech units. So this is like the first, in my mind, difficult chapter in Sacred Stones. Yes, yeah, so I'm doing 35% gross because not Mangs. Is anyone like Super need a skill. Hmm. Yeah, Ross or Garcia would be. It's a question of whether or not I'm going to use Garcia. I'm, actually, I'm going to check supports. So I could support Ross of Loot or Garrick. Garcia could name me or get. Mm. Ah, uh, I didn't realize that if a unit dies, they're grayed out in the support listing. Shit, that's actually kind of sad. Uh, well, you see, when you get a bunch of Dojin artists together to make a Gacha game, some of them cannot draw for shit. Double fire support? I don't even think Rebecca's art is that bad. Like, I know what they were going for, like, a shoujo aesthetic. And given her, like, idealization, idealization of, like, knights and chivalry and all that, I think it fits. Like, her anatomy is not terribly wonky. And, like, her face is stylized, but I think it's cute. Oh, man, if we're gonna get on, like, hills I'm gonna die on. Uh, fucking Yamada Kotaro's lens are garbage and I hate them. 
I hate them all. It's like they look- they looked at FE7's art, realized, oh wow, like, Wada was drawing characters with really long legs here, and decided, okay, I'll make them proportioned like normal human height, but instead I'll just, like, remove their stomach and just hike their legs up. Uh, okay, anyway, here's a question. Garcia or Ross? Got one for Garcia. Use my man. I guess I could fucking use both of them. I don't really want to use Joshua. Like I always use Joshua. Fuck it, we'll use them both. Okay, in that case, uh, Ross definitely needs it more. Okay, all right. Uh, I think Vanessa has it. Oh man, Kotro did exalt. Okay, exalted Crom's pretty good, and I do. Okay, let me just say that Kotro's lids are fucking garbage, and I hate them. All right, Gilliam, you've done your work. Huh. I would have thought you'd have C and swords by now. I guess we'll give it to Erica. Uh, how's the job? You have a job, but... Alright, uh, I need someone to use a torch. I... Items, from supply, take the torch. As... I don't really have anyone to use the armor slayer on. Yeah, I could just use this. Uh, well, you see, a lot of a lot of artists for heroes got their start doing a bunch of lolicon porn, and you know sometimes you can just see that. Yeah, but I feel like characterizing Narshan as like a manic, bumbling Team Rocket villain isn't an incorrect take on him. Like, Narshan's damaged art is fucking great. Okay. Yeah, welcome to Fire Emblem. Enjoy your stay. This is our series now. Okay, I need to play this very carefully, because I don't exactly remember where everything is. I, I'm gonna be honest, all the FE7 lords have shitty base art that were... I feel like Wada saw the base art and was like, okay, we gotta, we gotta do something about this. And just came in, did their legendary art. And it's great. Legendary Lin is like the best design. Period. It's fucking fantastic. Raid.
I mean, I don't necessarily think the Bridal sonic -y drama was, like, entirely unwarranted. Because the fact of the matter is, J Japan has a lolicon problem with, like, in media that it's not explicitly stinted to appeal to that, like... They have a bit of an issue, kind of throwing that shit and everything. Okay, let's hope this goes well. Jesus Christ, how bulky are these guys? I'm not a fan of Rajat's art simply because it's Kasaki Hara and like... I've got a fucking bone to pick with him. <laughs> That's really all it is. I have a bone to pick of that man. I am legitimately curious. Would you would you people be up for like seeing hero streams? Cuz I have a fairly like well thought out heroes layout that I never use because I assume people just don't give a shit about like what Jesus Christ, how like 11 defense. <laughs> okay. All right, sure. I mean, people took it out of proportion, but the fact of the matter is Bridal Sonic was not put in because like, ah, oh, wouldn't it be cute for like this little girl to dress up as a bride? It's, this is an anime gacha game when divorced from Fire Emblem and there are people who are into lollies, so that's just what they did. Also, T. Pichu, thanks for the follow. Enjoy your stay uh, in my barracks where we yell about Japan's problem with lolly cons and Kusakihara shitting on my dreams. Hey, she got defense. That might actually make her live. Good god. We do 20 damage. I live. See, I think there's a difference between, like, making a character look, like, cute and making a character look cute in a way that is explicitly designed to be, like, defiled. If that makes sense without sounding overtly fucking creepy. Honestly, there's no way for me to say this without sounding overtly fucking creepy, because it is, like, just fucking creepy. Hmm. Well... Oh, I can... Double with you, okay. Ew. Yeah, the whole worrying over fictional characters' rights thing, it's like... That's kind of silly. But at the same time, I feel like this isn't something I want to see, like, more of. It's a, it's a trend that I would be okay with, like, dying out in mainstream media. Or mainstream Japanese media. Remember the halberd? What fucking halberd? You're scaring me. Where- Who's got the halberd? Uh, Camilla Ragren? I'm gonna be honest, I, I don't like Camilla at all. And this might be filthy elitist talking, like, Unga Bunga, you're the Maeda character, I don't like you, but, like, I don't even think... <sighs> she has very nice hair, but that's about all I'll give her. I think outfit outfit and personality do have a lot to do with how the character is received, and like, Camilla kind of sucks at both. So I'll give it to her grand, because she has a personality that I can get behind. A Gren is a is the FE6 sniper.
See, Camilla's design is horny in, like, an incoherent way. Like, there are horny designs that can still be aesthetically pleasing. I don't think Camilla's is one of them. I think Camilla's design is just, like, we have a bunch of, like, individual facets of a character's design that would be considered horny. Let's just throw them all together. Aha! You cannot kill me! Because you're hit 60, and apparently I'm gonna dodge. Nice. Let us not forget the cutscene. Oh. Okay. Okay! Uh, Fog of War. Please fuck off. Uh! Okay, well. We live with our mistakes. We live with our mistakes, I guess. Shit, I really like Arthur as like a unit. Fuck. That sucks. That like, that actually makes me sad. Yeah, and they're like both of my light magic users, so I'm I literally cannot get Slayer at this point. Cause no one else well no, Natasha. Natasha can get me Slayer. Yeah, next stream I'm gonna have a death count. A death counter. Okay, so do we want to go... Uh, I think Fighter gives you Hero. Pirate gives you Warrior Berserker. Alright, chat. Pick your poison. Oh, the reinforcements in this chapter are really cruel. Alright, got one point for Fighter. Two points for Fighter. Fighter! I know I'm gonna go Pirate Ross, so fuck it, Fighter. Yeah, the villain only gives you an antitoxin. It sucks. Okay. Strength plus two, skill plus one, res plus one, con plus three. Ooh, shit. Uh, you... you do damage to me, but you do not kill me. Which route am I going? I think F-Frames is harder, so I'll do that, and I'll probably regret it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm changing- I'm changing the stream title. This is now officially an Iron Man. If I die, I die, and I'm bad. Super Iron Man stuff. Okay, yep. I'm gonna regret this. I am going to regret this. Okay, level four. For fuck's sakes, have you gotten strength or speed? At all? <sighs> come on. Come on. No, oh, come on, please. You pretty please? Ooh, I don't like that. Why am I doing this? I don't- I normally don't play Iron Man's because, like, I like playing Effie- I like trying to get through a chapter- Oh, fuck. Poison Axe is- Ooh, you're the asshole. Okay, luckily I'm on a mountain that gives me 30 avoid and I have weapon triangle advantage. I think I'm okay. I hope I'm okay, because <laughs> if I lose Seth, 
I'm in fucking trouble. Okay. Alright, let's... Okay, you're, you're gonna attack, 6 speed... You're not gonna kill me. I'm gonna do damage to me. I'm not gonna like it. Honestly, Narfeldarf is kinda right. This is entirely just a pissing contest. Yeah, I don't care about that antitoxin. Honestly, like, Erica's actually a pretty good combat unit, and I'm gonna need her. Oh man, the enemy Valkyrie Smite, it's really cute. I like the black hair on the red. Okay, so... I know there's a knight somewhere. Did... Oh no, I'm pissing on Mecha's grave by using Ford. Yes, but what if he paid me more money? What about that? That's like an option. Oh shit. Oh shit! We're fine. Oh shit. <laughs> he would have killed Seth. If he didn't have a 0% hit chance, he could have killed me. Okay, Crisis averted. And another Iron Axe, cool. I'm actually... Wait a second! Fuck! Ah, oh, damn it, he would have dropped the Halberd! Oh wow, Vanessa totally could have died here. I'm gonna be honest, like, making thumbnails isn't even close to the majority of what I do for Mangs now. Like, if I go ahead and look at my graphics deliverables... Oh, fuck me. Is that the rein... Are those the reinforcements? Those are... Fuck! Alright, Seth, I'm, I'm sorry, I got a crutch on you. Honestly, Zane just doesn't- Zane's a weird character from a lore perspective, and I understand why it would be hard to, like, make another one of them. Okay. But I need to move... Okay, we'll just hand axe. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, Fog of War usually isn't done super well. Hit next turn. So 
I met if I hear Lou, that'd be 13. Favorite Playboy? Hmm. Good question. I'm partial to say, like, Anigo just because he's, like, the, I think he's the only Playboy character with something behind the eyes, so to speak. Like, it's done for a reason, which I kind of get. I don't like it. I think it's a little obnoxious, but I think there's more purpose behind it. Beyond that, I'm kind of a f Oh, fuck me. I'm also kind of a fan of Sane, given that... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, not Ross. Uh, I forgot about Sylvain, but yeah, he's a pretty good one. Like, if you do his support with Kent, it's implied that he actually has a thing for Lynn, but he, like, specifically doesn't support with her because he knows that Kent has one. So he's just being a good bro. Ow! Someone's dying this turn. God damn it. Yes! Yes, kill Seth! Actually, don't kill Seth. We kill Seth, we lose a run, but... Oh, you piece of shit! <laughs> help! Uh, <laughs> help! Holy shit, help me! Name it, can you do anything to anyone? Damn it. If I can hit this, I'm in a good spot. I can't hit it. Yeah, I realize there's one more, I just... fuck. So, like, Erica will die if she gets hit by two of these. Okay, so I need to have Seth, like, kill you. I'm breaking formation here, which sucks. Seth, if you miss this, we lose. Okay, if you miss this 92, we lose. I think I, we're still probably gonna lose, because this chapter is fucking, like... This is a really good chapter, but I also hate it. There's stupid, dumb bullshit that comes out of everywhere. Thank you. 
unbreakable iron room. Okay, I can heal up Naomi. I'm not quitting. We die like men with our one skill level ups. It's already in the title, okay? If I die, I die. 16 damage. Okay, let's see. You're allowed to miss one of these. Ross has to dodge the two javelins. Oh, fucking hell! Dude, fuck Ross. Is Franz dead? Um, I really wish I kept that torch on France. In real talk, I have no idea where anyone is. And that kind of terrifies me. The spider hasn't spawned in yet. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's actually not fine. You were the only one who could have killed. Shit. What's your speed? Your speed's nine. Your speed is fucking 12. Hello? Oh my god, you would a you actually double and kill loot. Are you shitting me? Are you actually shitting me? <sighs> Does anyone have a javelin? Fuck. Two, three, four. I'm not gonna rescue the family, I'm just gonna fight the spider. Three speed. You have 12 speed, you're not gonna get double. I think I can get through this. Aha! The children aren't in any danger right now. Like, there's a cutscene when the children come in. Seth is fine. This guy only has an iron sword. He has 13. Like, he won't even scratch Seth. Well, he'll do two damage to Seth, okay. That's like bare minimum scratching. Oh, shit. Okay, you spawn a lot closer than I remember. 
Hey kids, run the fuck away! Oh sh Crap baskets. Okay. We got it. We got this. We have got this. Probably. Like, honestly, Franz is the guy I'm most worried about at this point. I don't remember where anyone is. Wait a second, you just come- you have an elixir on you, don't you? And you're just gonna heal. Whatever. Give me free XP. HP speed. Well, you're not leveling strength, but you sure are leveling speed. Get the fuck back here. Get back here and die like a man. The spider cut- the spider, like, sound effects are really cool. Calm down! Kid, we're gonna save you, alright? Oh. Okay. Okay. Alright, I gotta turn off cautious animations. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna enemy phase this. We're fine. Aha! Okay. okay. This is going better than expected. Alright, Vanessa, level up. Level 6. HP, strength, speed, luck. Very good. Oh, they really didn't check for, like... Any more chapters do I plan to do tonight? I don't know, I'm still trying to find, like, a good stream amount that, like, doesn't tire out you guys, but, like, still allows me to stream for more than, like, one chapter a night. Do you have Luna? You have Flux. Okay. Ah. Uh, let's fuck off over here. Is a slimmer. Okay. Hey. 
And that's what I was afraid of. Okay. I mean, the we still have the antitoxin. I'm not gonna die. Probably. So I'm kind of glad. I don't think the boss moves, but it is a good thing that I can keep him off the forest. No, it cannot be! Okay, we take those. Oh, wow, we take those. Damn. Okay, we don't take that. Fuck off, please. Uh, maybe don't. Six. Five. Actually, that is barely a kill. Oh hey, 50 plus. I thought it's funny when I when I started streaming, like I would watch view accounts religiously. And honestly, if I if I do ever want to try for a Twitch partner, which I'm going to try and do within the next 6 months or so, I'm going to need to like be smarter about how often I stream. Cuz I'd need to essentially have like 75 viewers on average. Which isn't something that I, like, get normally, so. I would need to, like, end my streams before- God damn, Erica. This is not gonna make me like you. I'd need to end my streams before people started petering off. Yeah, I, I am gonna- Uh, once Mangs gets back on his normal schedule- Jesus Christ, he's a, he's a good Erica. Once Mangs gets back on his normal schedule, I will, like, actually have a stream schedule that I stick to. Wait, uh, maybe, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. I don't want to take the chance. Erica sucks because she can't use. Don't you mean the barrier lance? Not the Burkut's Lance. This is now an Iron Man. I didn't really expect to do one, but Mulder died, and I didn't really feel like resetting, so... Okay, it's an Iron Man now. What could possibly go wrong? That hasn't already gone wrong. Spooter! Spooter miss! Spoot or die. Okay, and that takes care of that. Yeah, working on it. Level up. Level six. Skill. Luck. Yeah, strength and speed, buddy. Oh, oh no! No! <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, Garcia, not dying. I forgot about that soldier. God, I ran into him with Vanessa and he almost killed her too. Anyone else want to ruin my day? Garcia time. Oh, fuck. All right. I don't like fog of war. I don't like it. Oh, okay. That's fine. Hit me in the face. Do it. Do it. You can't. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and help Garcia. <laughs> axe bros are a- These aren't the axe bros, it's like the axe paternal duo. 
Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna go ahead and keep these axe guys alive. Okay. Kill you. Can Nemi kill? Can you even do damage? No. No, you can't. You tried. You did. You tried. You tried your best. Double check. Okay, so Okay, Erica's actually doing all right here. Triple effectiveness I can get behind. Alright, real talk, I'm just I'm just killing you. I don't, I don't want to take the chance of something coming out of the fog and killing Erica. We're just, we're done. We're done. Chapter six is over and it only cost me my monk. Hooray. Ah, is this the end? No fame? No, this does not look like the face of some dude who's like out for fame and glory. Cheers, I'll drink to that. Dot, dot, dot. You're safe now. <laughs> hey, you get the Orion's book. Wait. I love how the man doesn't, like, show up at all. Because we don't care if a man dies. Isn't that right, gamers? Yeah, the whole, like, magical bracelet thing's kind of dumb. But whatever. Okay, manage items real quick. Homie, you're getting your iron sword back. I mean, yeah, I did have to kind of rely on the RNG not ruining my entire day. <sighs> oh, chapter's probably gonna end the run. I hope I'm selling that around. Honestly, Sacred Stones doesn't really have a money problem. Oh, hey, Fallen Fury 777. Thanks for the follow and welcome to the barracks. Hopefully you don't hate your stay. So here's the thing. If Naomi had gotten, like, fucking anything, uh, maybe I would use her. But right now she is refusing to get anything. It's a shame, too, because I really do fucking like, um, uh, I like rangers. And, like, I'm not gonna make Garrick a ranger. Okay, Renval. Probably change the chapter. Okay, uh, there is a way around doing this. Supports. Great, I forgot GBA support system fucking sucks. Okay, Amy. Uh, let's see, is there something just. I vaguely remember there being something important to steal in this chapter. Okay, no, Nightcrest drops. 
Yeah, let's go and Oh. What's your speed? Your speed's seven. All right, Colm, looks like you got one last job to do. Yeah, Bose is just two range options are honest to God, just terrible. I, I think the only game that did like the GBA style of bows well was FE12 because that game was so player phase centric and there was like legitimately scary flyers. FE6 does it okay-ish. Like bows are a niche option, but it's really only that like snipers are a niche option to counter like all of the fucking Burr and Draco riders. But yeah, bows, not good in general. And bows are broken in games that like give them absurd range. So I'd argue bows are broken in three houses. Because not only do they have extended range, but you don't have to be an archer to use it. And you can get close counter really fucking easily. So it just becomes like the best. I don't even think it's just hunter's volley. Mission. I'm gonna pick up coal. Yeah, it's not... <sighs> Honestly, no, I, I still think bows are, like, really good. Like, it's not just Hunter's Volley carrying the day. I am, though. Uh, what the fuck is your speed? 8, 8, 14, minus 8, because, like, wait, 14 minus 6, 8. Cool, I guess. Devlin's... So we're not going to have a problem getting Franz to promotion at all, but Garcia and Ross are going to need a little bit of help. Drag skill, speed, defense. That is, in my eyes, a perfect level up for him. Uh, I think close counter matters a lot in three houses. If you don't have the ability, you don't have the ability to change your weapon. So if you ever need to enemy phase and player phase, a bow is your best option. Because all other 1-2 range weapons kind of suck. Like, obviously, on, on something like Maddening, the rules change a little bit. You don't really want to enemy phase of anyone. Yeah, he's got like a 25% growth. That's not great. We're under it. Does this guy not have eyebrows? What the fuck is with you making villains without eyebrows? It's not a good look. Oh! Oh god! Oh fuck! Oh no! 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 No hand axe, please. Okay. I did not realize that the soldier could do damage to me. That was a new revelation. And yes, some lance. So, go ahead and 
19. You have four defense. Your defense still sucks dick. But your hit is 86. Okay, which... Okay, the mage is the one of the energy ring. Which kind of sucks. Oh yeah, Steel Axe, that's great. Love it, love it, love it. Great, fantastic. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bait you one by one. With an Armor Slayer, I guess. Okay, yeah, you're just gonna take the Iron Sword and you're gonna deal with it. Oh, actually, the Armor Slayer's fine. So here's the thing, you could kill me, but you're not going to kill me. Yeah, fuck it, we're just gonna chuck a javelin at you. Good effort. Oh shoot, uh, I miss... Uh, gotta make a name fast. Would you say that you're the single best... <laughs> Honest to god, I never felt like the co-commentation on Blue Lions was ever mine to really run with. Because, like, the entire... For up until probably... Uh, the whatever paralogue that you would potentially fight Hanuman and Manuela in... Like, up until that point, I didn't really feel like I had any right to, like, be brazen or, like, myself in co-commentating, because I was only ever standing in for Ghast as, like, because he just bailed. So, honestly, I'm not... I don't think that my co-commentation on Blue Lions was really any good, and I also wasn't a huge... wasn't a huge fan of, like, New Game Plus... Personally, not my cup of tea. But yeah, no, I'm... I know people can take or leave the soundboard spam, but, like... I think Chaz is probably a stronger co-commentator in general than me. He just has more experience with it. But it depends on what you look for in a co-commentator. How can I double you? Fuck, I can't. Uh, alright. Yeah, Chaz, Chaz has a lot of charisma, and I think that helps a lot. Elixir? I don't. Is I'm in a spot of trouble. A little spot of trouble here. Actually, no, I can just rescue. We're fine. Strength, speed, defense, resistance. Jesus Christ. I'm not gonna like you. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna happen. 
No, Erica, dumb design. I think when you have to scrub over footage to try and, like, edit out certain flubs, it kind of gets a little, uh... The soundboard gets a little grating if you have to do editing for Chaz. Well, for Mangs when Chaz is co-commentating, because... Oh boy, having to hear interesting nuts, like, for 20 minutes on loop? Not the most fun thing in the world. Gonna be straight with you. Yeah, you know what? I, I don't think... Okay. Lest we forget, like... Oh shit, actually she has more strength than her level. Okay, but like, my Lin was really good. Like, that's an absurdly high bar. Interesting pitfall for me to poop on. That's Chaz! Okay, well, I'll just go ahead and take you out. So a little peek behind the curtain. For the most part, uh, I set up Mangs thus that he never really has to edit three houses. I made OBS such that he could have, like, gross, he could have end screens, he could have a whole shebang as different scenes in OBS that he could just switch to. So for the most part, like, it's not that outtakes make it into the video, it's just that, like, these aren't edited at all. This is essentially, like, a live stream broken up into different episodes. But, like, it was the only thing that really I could think of. Because Mags was really concerned with getting episode one of, uh, at, like, Three Houses out. The he, he wanted to be the first person on YouTube to do it. And that would have been... Pretty hard to do, honestly. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to think. Uh, it would have been really hard to do because Mangs doesn't have like the greatest editing workflow. It works, but it's not like it's not built for speed. It's just built because it's convenient and he knows how to deal with it. So I just made it such that like I built every single like class growth and unit growth as individual image files that you can toggle in OBS and I set him up in that and he just he got it out within 30 minutes of the game like releasing HP strength and luck uh did he say that uh gravy did he say what exactly I I'm sorry it's kind of vague Was he the first? Uh, yeah. He was the first. I'm ready. Oh. Because I don't play FB4. Oh, I don't. I don't keep up with everything Chaz says. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I don't watch every episode of the Let's Play. I don't have. I don't have that kind of time. And as far as like back. I'd probably put it on as background noise while editing, but I. I honestly prefer other stuff in the background, just to keep me occupied. But if I had to hazard a guess if what you're saying is true, it's probably because FE4 is really clunky to play. But that doesn't really seem like Chaz, given that, like, stupid inconvenient bullshit's kind of his thing. Hey. IMO, I think FE4 is clunkier to play. It kind of has the three. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Uh, hey, where'd my health go? I would definitely recommend someone play FE3 before I recommend them play FE4. Because FE4 has a lot of, like, busy work that you have to keep up with. Uh, you have to keep up with... Arenas, pairings, uh, you have to deal with the infantry cavalry disparity, which is- it's at its worst in this game. Yeah, people told me to make him a fighter, so I made him a fighter. I'll probably make him a hero, because why not? Yep. I just realized, if I missed that, I died. That was a terrible idea. Hey, pure water! That's honestly not that useful anymore. Okay, so let's go ahead and mend up Franz. I mean, I honestly, I don't disagree that, like, old jank should be considered a reason for some people to, play, to stay away. Because, like, consider, if you didn't grow up during... I'm not even going to go too far back. Like, let's say fucking N64 and Game Boy Advance era. You're probably used to a certain level of, like, quality of life, convenience, like, a lack of being punished over little things. That just is pretty damn rampant in older titles. Oh my... So if a game's not fun to play from a modern perspective, I can understand someone saying, don't play this, you probably won't enjoy it. And in an age where, like, everything's constantly being remade, I don't know, I don't think it's, like, super unreasonable to say, just, like, wait for a remake or something. I think it comes down to whether or not the jank is, like, Frustrating jank or just like slow archaic conventions. Oh, fuck. Are you going to double me? Okay, uh, we're just gonna take this slow. Take it slow. <laughs> Try not to die. Uh, maybe. Unlikely, but maybe. Hey, we'll take it. I think FE3 holds up as like an old strategy RPG. I don't think it's unpleasant to look at. I don't think it's, its mechanics are, like, too stupid. Like, they make sense. Okay, level 7. HP, magic, speed, defense. That's a great level up. You will avenge your fallen brother. Or brethren. Okay, so you have 12 speed, but I have 13 speed, so get bent. Move here. And I will bait you out with Natasha. Or I'll peel you up with Natasha, bait you out with France. I honestly think dismounting does need to be worse. Because if it's just an option, you you run in the issue you run into the issue of like, okay, now cavalry just have more options than infantry, which is kind of a big problem of the infantry cavalry disparity to begin with, but like Whatever, man. Okay, so I can put you right here. 
I'm pretty sure Mecha would agree that FE5 is a weird game. Personally, I think being dismounted should just be, like, objectively worse in almost all situations. Turing Saga does a lot of stuff correctly. Hey, Lance up. I think I got to see. Okay. I don't like that crit chance. I also don't like I might die from a ballista. Oh, fuck you. Uh... Okay. All that for an energy ring. Good God. Two strength. Hey. What would be the point of dismounting? It would be a penalty. Because I don't think it's, like, un unfair to say that mounted units, in most cases, are more useful than in their infantry counterparts. So there should be maps wherein you're either forced to dismount or forced to bear the penalties of being mounted on, like, an indoor map. And in those scenarios, you should be infinitely worse than, like, your mounted counterpart. Like, dismounting should be a penalty. It should not be, a, like... Outward bra outward branching balance, I think they call it. Like, you should be punished for having to do it. I think we've more or less gotten through this. Okay, well, if you're not gonna have, like... If you're not going to have dismounting as a penalty, then you need to take better steps towards balancing your classes. Like, infantry should not then entirely be shit stomped by cavalry as much as they are. I mean, I suppose they're still- Jesus Christ. HP, Strength, Skill, Speed, Defense. Good level. I mean, obviously there are upsides to it, but I think that far and away it should be, like, a downgrade. It should be something that you have to do to avoid, like, crippling downsides of being a mounted unit. Yeah, maybe a hit. I would agree. Tearing Saga is at risk of sounding like a crusty elitist. Eh, I don't even care. That's probably what I am if you boil me down, but Tearing Saga does G it's like GBA and it's a simplicity of a GBA games combined with the complexity of the SNES games. Garcia, and Seth. But like, Tearing Saga is a game where weapon choices... Having access to all of your weapons is a lot more important in Tearing Saga than it is a lot of other games. So that nerf is like, actually felt.
Okay, first things first. I'm putting this thing in the convoy before Colm kills himself. I thought in FE3 it was like everyone used swords when they were dismounted. Maybe I'm misremembering. Move everyone up. Honestly, with how good a combat unit my Erica is, uh, whenever we get the Seraph robe, I'm probably gonna dump it on her. Ow. Six speed will be fine. We're pretty much home free out in this chapter. Outside of games where, like, the enemy composition is mostly composed of axe users, HP, skill, luck. Damn, he's not getting strength. It kind of sucks that, by and large, swords are generally the worst weapon type. Hmm. For the most part, you're not running into issues with, like, connecting hits. Yeah, I guess Kaga games are generally player phase. So swords, one of swords' bigger weaknesses, not having like reliable enemy phase isn't really a thing. But in games with like weak enemy compositions and like Enemy Vegas games where the enemies aren't particularly strong, so the GBA titles, uh, I mean, less so FE6, but the GBA titles, FE9, uh, Awakening, sort of, Birthright Revelations, and any lower difficulty of Three Houses, like, well, okay, maybe not Three Houses, but... A lot of the post kaga games are enemy phase, and I think that's a way worse way to design your games, personally. Like, an enemy phase game is the equivalent of playing heroes and just having, like, a study breath QR Noe. Like, congratulations, you can press end turn, like, and it'll probably work, but is it fun? Like, is it worthwhile? No, I like player phase emblem. I prefer player phase emblem. I'm not a huge fan of enemy phase emblem, is what I'm saying. I think that's part of the reason, like, Conquest works so well. A lot of the units they throw at you are super threatening and you need to find the best way to take them out in player phase so they don't absolutely ruin you on enemy phase. Also, bad level up, bad unit. So the garbage can with the, the javelin.
Yeah, Conquest tries to kill you because, oh god, one of the best things about Conquest, debuffs. Dagger debuffs are such a good idea because they, like, at their core, they're meant to stop low manning and, like, juggernauting. Because if you just, like, set your buff Seth on a fucking defense tile and he gets debuffed to hell by maids and ninjas, like, suddenly he's no longer buff Seth. He's, like, Ford, and Ford probably can't tank, like, 20 heroes. I think debuff should only be one turn. Uh, well, no, I'm not talking about silver sword debuffs. I'm talking about knife debuffs. I think I'd like maddening more if, like, it wasn't just... I'm not a huge fan of how gambits are implemented, personally. All right, Ballista, I failed. Well, you only had one, and it was really far from us. Honestly, ninjas, they just... <sighs> Shurikens needed to be worse. And they needed to be on four. Like, they needed to be FE... 10? FE 10 knives. Like, if shurikens were FE 10 knives, and they didn't give you, like, a speed boost, and you couldn't just, like, forge a steel shuriken to have, like, a 12 might, 1, 2 range weapon that only debuffed your speed by 2, because shurikens give you plus 3 speed, you know, then maybe... I'd be down for it. I like the idea of gambits. I just really don't like how all of them stop your movement. I think that's kind of a poor choice. Okay, so remind me then, uh, if, like, a knife debuffs you for a bunch, do you only recover one point per turn? Okay, yeah, that... I think it should carry over for one turn. Like, I think if you get debuffed on enemy phase, it should carry over for your player phase, but, like, that's it. Or maybe it should carry over to the beginning of enemy phase. Like, a turn and a half. I think if it were a turn and a half, and, like, you were debuffed in enemy phase, and you couldn't just, like, sit there and be back to full health at the next enemy phase, that'd be fine. Because I really do love it as, like, oh, Jesus Christ. I love it as an answer to Juggernauting, because, like, Fire Emblem kind of has a problem with Juggernauting. Really? Okay, alright. Okay. No, we're just gonna keep throwing fucking hand axes at you until you die. I also really love Dual Strikes. I didn't like Pair Up and Awakening because it was something that only the player ever used. But in Fates, not only does the enemy sometimes use it, like, Guard Stance, but they can also make use of, like, what is it? A dual Strike, I think they call it? Dual Strike. So, like, you have to be mindful of it. Enemies can, like, enemy formations can be scary. If an archer's attacking you and he's next to, like, a fucking general, and he's not paired up with someone... Like, you better have a guard, uh, not a guard edge, not a pair up bot, otherwise you're gonna take a bunch of damage. I, see, I don't like the defensive options of pair up. I think that, I think having someone as a stat backup backpack is boring. Because it turns some units like Arthur or Charlotte into just pair up backpacks, and I think that's dumb. I think that is a terrible way of making a unit viable. Yeah, just like, hop on Xander's horse and do nothing for the rest of the game. That's bad design, but like something that rewards positioning and like that you have to think about against enemy positioning, I think is great. I think more of that, please. Thank you. I 
I don't, I don't really agree with it being harder for the player. One percent crit. That one percent crit. It scares me. It shouldn't scare me, but it scares me. be able to get the kill with like Garcia or maybe Vanessa here. Uh, it'd be cool if you hit. Thanks. Good girl. Lord Torado. Okay, goodbye. Hey, level 8. HP. Yeah, nothing else. Hmm. Oh, we got a Knight's Crest. Hey. Uh, no one needs healing? I think. Okay, great. Groovy. Fantastic. We are done. My brother is somewhere in this castle. Okay, I think this is actually a pretty decent stopping point. I feel like four-ish hour streams is probably, like, good enough. Because I'm trying to figure out what the sweet spot is, because I'm going to be making a schedule within, like, the next two or three days to try to adhere to. So, I don't know, like, four... Four or so hours, because I know a lot of you come for Mang streams, and he streams for like two hours. So I don't want to like burn you out, and I also don't want my view count to... This is a purely selfish reason, but eventually if I go and try to like apply for partner or something, I'm going to have to have my view count at like, I think it's like an average of 75 viewers. So if I stream so long that people just like, peace out... Uh, it's not super great. I mean, four hours sounds like a lot, but that's that's what I stream for. I've been live for four and a half hours now. Uh. Okay, so I think I will call it here. I will go ahead and... If you haven't already, I mean, following me is like on... Uh, fucking twitch is probably the is the best way to know when i go live because you know when i go live we'll get a notification but uh if you go ahead and like it'll eventually cycle through but like you can see my twitter down there when i get my actual screen my stream schedule i'll go ahead and post it to my twitter as like an image that and i'll probably pin it for a little while and that way you can get an idea of when i'll be live also hey tpq thanks you for your free twitch money i appreciate it Enjoy your stay in the Super Barracks and whatever emotes Twitch has granted you. Cause, I don't know, they do weird things with emotes all the time. Sometimes you have them, sometimes you don't. But there are three. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take my leave. Uh, done diddly. Done did. Yeah, done diddly. I think I got that right. Thanks for the follow. As well as Garf. Oh god, Garfle Darf. <laughs> Enjoy your stay in the barracks. But uh, I've got some editing to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my leave of you. So I will see you all sometime later. I. We'll, we'll have a schedule, don't worry. Anyway, we will continue with chapter 8. So, have yourself a groovy night. Bye-bye now.